Look at that shit right there, dude. <laughs> Weed, dude. Dude, that's weed right Whenever there. Whenever you see a, high a green plant, weed, let's just say weed. Ha <laughs> ha, nice, man. The self-awareness doesn't change the fact that you still made the joke. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, fuck you. Whoa! Oh, yes! <laughs> Where's the tape? Where's the tape? I'm Hold it up. It up. Hold it up uh, I'm, I'm cramping up! I... Uh, my balls are receding. My balls are receding. Stop! World 8, I mean, world, fuck, world 2, level 8. The Potted Ghost's Castle. Oh. Insert funny pot joke here. Oh, God, so much weed in this castle. <laughs> oh, this weed is so good. Dude, I love smoking weed and watching Super Mega. This weed is so fucking good. Oh, 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 I actually have to kill him to get the one up. All right. Oh. A lot of lava. Oh. Julian, can't... This is for my my stoner bros. Can't can't we all just get a bong? <laughs> it's very, to it's very clever, to Chris. Weed with me. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to relate to all my stoner friends out there. Yo, I love ripping a fat bong rip and then watching some Oni plays. <laughs> Do you think anybody does? Yes. Yes. Okay. I like ripping. That was a stupid question, wasn't Every it? Every day I eat the weed. I saw a comment on one of our videos today that said. These guys have to be smoking weed. There is no way they could come up with the stuff they say without. These smoking guys weed. have to be on some kind I'm of gonna, pot. I'm gonna what say kind this. Of drug? And the, in a public setting, if you fucking say that about anybody, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I Dude. fucking hate anybody that's like, oh, uh, this cartoon, the the writers were on fucking. They don't even say that. People who say <laughs> things about weed, about cartoons, they go, oh, the animators were on fucking weed. Yeah, because the animators wrote the fucking. Stop thing. it. Fucking Doug Walker says that. What I are you trying to say? Exactly. <laughs> I, hey. I tried. I tried writing a cartoon when I was on weed once. When I was on the weed, and I woke up the next day and read it, and I was like, "This is fucking unfunny garbage." Yeah, you you can't do anything when you're on weed. Yeah, it just makes you stupid and lazy. It doesn't make you funny or interesting or Tell creative. Tell me this. What, what kind of mushrooms were they on when I made Mario? No. <laughs> oh! Why would you try writing something when you're high? It's How like many stressful and ruins the, the point. Smoke? <laughs> My motto I had a little something more than uh, Pikmin. It <laughs> doesn't yeah, make any sense. Uh, I'm trying to remember my fucking. Anyway, don't, don't ever don't, don't describe things that are weird as don't have a being brown man. <laughs> Unless there's some, I like there are people who are like oh yeah I do the weeds and they do the thing fucking um don't be down fellow brown. <laughs> what's his name um. <laughs> Jim what? Woodring. That's what Ben Elbert says. Don't be down, fellow. Jim brother. Woodring does like acid and shit, right? Like, isn't that a thing? Well, I mean, the, the Beatles were all like, "We were on acid when we were out yellow submarine." Yeah, that's how they said it too. They said, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah yellow submarine." Was was Pink ah, Floyd Jimmy. like? Did, did Pink Floyd do a lot of drugs? I don't know. You mean Pink Floyd himself? Yeah. I mean, no, if you're writing music, it's different because you can hold an instrument and actually do shit. But if you try sitting down with a fucking pen and paper, you fucking your vision gets blurry and shit. Basically, I just take offense to the idea that you can only be creative if you're high. Yo, I Julian, what kind of pot were you smoking before we recorded this episode? Do you remember the, the hit song, Blurred Lines, and uh, there's the balloons behind him that says, Robert Thicke has no dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That song is fucking great. Oh, we're smoking fat doinks out here. Doinks? <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> The guy that smokes I, fat doinks? Yes. It's fucking beautiful oh. outside. See you, Matt. Every video I've ever seen of him, though, his like, voice is auto-tuned. Smoking big doinks in Amish? Really? Like, We're smoking fat doinks outside. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are the videos I like. They're and then funny. when he spits, it's bass boosted. Like, pfft. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking gross. Uh, you died. Well, look, look where you died. Behind me, because I'm number one. Mm, actually, I think I'm blue. Hate to break it to you. Get him toys and jelly. Oh, oh, you blew his snowman ass right out of the right out of the tank. Whoop. Got some fat doinks to smoke. Oh god, dude. Yeah. Rem remember when the fat doinks guy died? Oh yeah, he did die. Yeah, dude, he fucking kicked it. That's so sad. Rest in peace. He's smoking a fat doink at, right at, at Jesus's right hand. He's up at God's. Whoa. Oh shit, dude. What happened there? This guy sucks. Do you remember, um... My dead gay son?
No, I'm trying to. What that, are you that's doing? a good song though. But I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm trying to remember oh. what I was gonna say, dude. Uh, maybe if you didn't smoke all that Kush, yeah, you'd it's, remember. It's all that dank Kush in my brain. You fucking high imbecile. It's because I, I smoke weed directly through my brain. <laughs> you fucking freak. You weed hey, Ryan, freak. Come on, dude. Don't call me a weed freak. <laughs> You, you know what they called Matt back in the day? The, <laughs> they called him the weed freak. <laughs> <laughs> I got all sorts of pussy. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna get hit by a single blade this time. It's not that hard. I'm just, I'm being a, an idiot. On purpose for the Let's Play, Matt? No, no Let's Players do that. Wait, does that, wait, Ocean Man by Ween? Up, up. Does it do Ocean Man by Ween? Let's, let's see. Is that SpongeBob? Yeah. Ocean man. I don't even remember playing this course. Let's see. You're probably too high on your dope, on your marijuana. Okay, dude. You're you're peeing me off. Sorry, dude. Let's let's see. As a smoker, vaping never did it for me, but juuling was the closest thing that felt like a cigarette intake. And that's why I got so addicted to it was because it's so Cause, much nicotine. Cuz with um with vaping it's like and then it gets sharp and you could like Cough it up, but like with a jewel, there's that like singular sharp, <gasps> yeah, of, of a hit exactly, and and, you... and just the buzz was wild. Don't worry, we're still good boys. Don't don't worry, y'all. Don't don't go dueling. It's so bad, and it's so unbelievably hard to quit. Trust me, it Unless was. Every now and then, you want to take a take a little take a little piece of daddy's grass, grind it up, and then and then and then smoke it. When you're over twenty one in a legal state. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan and I are actually thinking about starting our own uh, weed empire. Uh, We're thinking about doing a weed delivery, like speed weed delivery service, except it's not going to be called speed weed because that's a thing, and it's only going to, and we're only going to do it in rural southern states. And the whole thing is, we're we're so fast that the cops, by the time they get to the house that we delivered to, we're already on our fifth delivery. We're like two blocks away. By yeah, then. we're always on the move, so they'll never catch us. Yeah, we're not. When we stop for the delivery, we're actually not allowed to stop. We have to keep moving, even if it's running in place. Our, our, our car is a, literally a giant, like, weed leaf, slow-moving float <laughs> that you would find in a parade of some kind. And, and it's being, like, <laughs> it's being pulled by, like, a shitty pickup truck. <laughs> and, and the back of the pickup truck is just loaded with bags of weed. We got shirt launchers, because we, we, we don't stop at the houses. We, sh we shoot it through the windows. <laughs> it just shatters the window. <laughs> Ryan, that was the wrong house. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Can you still get like arrested for selling weed in California like I know it's legal here but like let's say I'm like I'm gonna sell some weed and I try to sell weed to an undercover cop would I still get arrested for that uh, I don't know I I would say probably not but I and I also don't know this but I know the biggest thing in California for the longest time was the was the legal quantity of weed you could have if you have over that quantity you can still get in trouble for it but I'm not sure if that changed when they made it recreation, recreation. I, I'm pretty sure you can have however much you want now but it's okay. like the, there used to be an amount where you can't have over this or else like mm. right and like think of how dumb it was where like there was a time in like california and it this didn't happen often but it still happened where like police officers they they'd see like weed shops and be like well we can't do anything about it because it's like legal in the state it's medically legal blah 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 then like the federal government would come in and raid weed shops every now and then <laughs> and so there's this this huge disconnect between federal law and state law yeah, yeah. States' rights, Ryan. What states' are, rights. <laughs> what are what are other examples of that? Do the, like what like for those in the comments that are like super into politics and like no law and stuff. Like, what are other examples of a federal law uh, coming into? I guess um, coming into uh, it's butting heads with there, the there state are a lot of uh, like um, there. Uh, I think a big one is um, abortion and stuff because you know like. Uh, abortion is fe legal? federally legal, right? Yeah. But a lot of states will be like, no, we're not, we're not going to do it. Or they'll try to uh, do little workarounds. Well, they'll, they're like, we'll cut funding or we'll just shut down all the clinics. Are there are there states where abortion is illegal? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's it's like legalized throughout America, right? I guess. Wasn't that a Supreme Court ruling? Uh, something versus Wade. Roe v. Wade. Yeah, Roe v. Wade. Where where abortion is is legal. Yeah. Um, which I'm glad that murder. That's is enough. That, that, that's enough talk of abortion. No, I want to spend the rest of the podcast talking about abortion. I'm good. Really? But you, you're so passionate about this off mic. Ryan, you were aborted. 
<laughs> I love a there's a, there's an Ali G thing where he goes to like a like a Catholic uh, abortion rally and um he goes up to these like nuns doing he's like he's like asking them if they were aborted and he's like I I, I was I was aborted and like telling them that and they're like well I'm sorry it's so good I mean there's these like nuns singing and he starts beatboxing over it <laughs> I love Ali G Ali G is so funny oh. Wow. He's been smoking so much weed. He's been sitting in the jungle. Dude, that's hot. that's pot. He's smoking pot in the jungle because he's getting high. You call you can call him Master Reef <laughs> or Master Keef. Master Keef. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, look, it's a funny look, weed joke, right? <laughs> you know, Johnson's starting up his own blunt. <gasps> <laughs> Just got passed out. We're, we're starting this off good with some some funny weed jokes, <laughs> some good old drug jokes, dude. Man, I'm ordering some more pot over here, man. <laughs> All right, that's, that's enough weed know, jokes. Major. You have to have your best black friend, and that's him. That's Johnson. He's taking, he's taking my little Radio chip out. Vito. No. Heavy lift gear. Roar. We're not leaving him here. Yeah. Whoa. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Let me get a hit of that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he smokes it through his helmet like a little hole appears at the bottom of his helmet. <laughs> as you are. Oh. And I don't do bits and pieces. Nice, dude. Here we come, Johnson! This isn't as fun as it looks. Cut the power. <laughs> Look. Hey, there you are. They arrested me because of my weed. <laughs> That's this whole thing is about. Man, they, they smelled that kush in the beginning, man. They they, they came and detained me, man. Man. Oh, we're missing the big uh that, that, that's uh that looks that, like one of the guys truth. yeah that looks like one of the guys from uh sly cooper um his name was dimitri he was a lizard looks just like him um he hacked into our systems and now he's like you'll rue the day. demon you're stupid i hate you your weed will no longer poison my society <laughs> Can you he just calls everyone like <laughs> you're all gay and I hate you. Ah, you smell like poo poo. I bet you listen to the village people. <laughs> you pick up the strawberry. You're missing. Stuff. Yeah, I know I'm missing stuff. I I'm just... gonna be the comment section for Don't you. Don't do that, Ryan. Please. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. All right. I like those butterflies. Oh, uh... weed? Yeah, dude. Go back. Roll up the weed. I gotta get the weed. Oh, I'm so high! Uh, oh. Yo, dude, uh, that's good pot. Whoa, let me let me have a little. Let me. Y'all mind if I want, smoke weed? I got. Oh, here's a margarita to cool down the highness. Thanks, bro. Mm. I can't. I'm not gonna drink that though, cause margaritas are gay. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? No, margaritas are gay as hell. Tasty as shit. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, as of now, we're recording this episode. I can legally drink them now. You can. This is the first episode we've recorded since I've become a, a big boy. I'm 21 now yep. hooray 21 i can finally we we actually went out to get a drink we did we went uh we went to what buffalo wild wings at like yeah. midnight and we we got a we got some wings we got a beer and 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 got some i got some mozzarella sticks we each had a chocolate cake yeah dude we I got some chocolate cake i know i've been i've been watching my figure lately but i decided to splurge to welcome my big boy home for his 21st please don't call me that huh please don't call me that my big girl home from her 21st <laughs> perfect alternative Okay, water it. Water. Okay. Watering it's this like bad it. boy. Oh. <sighs> Whoa! Oh shit. Man, why can't that be real? Why can't Hell there be like yeah. a plant you water and it just spits out a bunch of money? Like a big fucking bud? That'd be amazing. A bud of cash? Yeah, that'd be great. That's a lot of money. I'd rather have a bud of cash than a nug of weed. You can say that again. Amen, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have, instead of a blunt, no. Instead of having a joint, I'd rather have a joint checking account. <laughs> Why wouldn't I just share with someone Instead else? Instead of having a joint, I'd rather have joint custody with my child. Yeah, that'd be great, man. I wish I could have custody of my kids. Oh, you should try it sometime. It's fun. Oh, no, I have tried. Judge said no. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it because you threw them off of two-story buildings yeah, for fun? Yeah, said that I posed a significant threat to my children's uh, well-being. So you let I think that's just I think that's just judge jargon. I don't even know what the fuck that means. So you sneezed with a butter knife once. Yeah, who ca Yeah, who cares? That whole incident, that could have happened to anybody. A little stitches fixed everything up. It's fine. Oh, jeez. Yep. Hey. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, How you doing? a little plant never hurt anybody. Where am I going? The other way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you got it. okay. 
Um, you know, Ryan, what? I don't smoke weed anymore. No? But I ain't smoking any less. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy! You got the PAL? <laughs> Man. The PAL region. I got the NTSC. Why is it called the PAL region? That's where my PALs are. They're yeah, because yeah. everybody's really are. friendly. Their TVs don't work as good, so all the... I hate that. What? what? Their TVs run at 50 frames per second instead of 60. What? Why? So every game has to account for that. And the fuck? And that's what they're programming for it. In Japan and stuff? In no, Europe. Japan has the same region code as us. Wait, they're Japan's in TSC? Yeah. What, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They'll just do region locks based on, like, specific... So in like Europe, that. TV's running 50 frames per second. Yes. So, visually, there's not gonna be, like, a matchup. So yeah. you can't necessarily use European hardware. I remember here. when I played Zelda Ocarina of Time on my GameCube Master Disc, I had to change the TV settings. Because really? it looked all weird? Yep. It wouldn't just- it wouldn't come up, it just flickered on and off. <laughs> really pissed me off. You should have called Zelda and bitched her out. The Legend Zelda! Of Zelda Williams! How could you? Dad, are you talking about the game or me? No! I'm talking about the fucking you! <laughs> Why does he want to fuck her? You are my fucking daughter! <laughs> You're not my dad! Please, no! Also, he sounds like this. <laughs> Deliver the fucking pizza, Zelda! <laughs> <laughs> if you flip the pizza, I will flip out. <laughs> oh, it's good shit, baby. Man, <laughs> what kind of shit are you guys smoking, huh? We were smoking weed before we recorded. We smoke pot, huh? If you want everything to be funnier, just stay up for 24 hours. Yeah. I'm oh tired. God. I feel like shit right now. Mr. Aziz gave him his Mr. Disease. Chris. His mystery disease. <laughs> his mistress oh, disease? That's a that's his secret identity. His alter ego is mystery disease, but he's actually the mystery disease. <laughs> <laughs>
a nice cut of meat, like a steak, put some THC butter on it, cook it up, and call it high steaks. Dude! Yeah, right? Dude! Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Oh man! Hiya! Stop! Don't kick pillows at my microphone. Sorry, dude. We got, we, weed is so funny to me. Why? It's great. No, I mean like like weed culture is funny to me. Oh, I'm not into weed culture. <laughs> I just see now when I you can't I weed just, culture ruined talking about marijuana. It it did. You know? Yeah. Just like it's hard to talk about like craft beer without sounding like a pretentious hipster. <laughs> Same thing. Why? Like why? Why did marijuana get that stigma? And why did like craft beer get that stigma? I don't know. I mean. I'm a, I'm They're a, both nice things. I'm a very regular smoker of, of the marijuana. So. You hear that, Omaha Steaks? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we transitioned from like an ad read straight to like, so marijuana. Because you know what makes food taste better? Marijuana. Steak hey. sauce, Matt. No, I was making a joke because marijuana does not make food taste better. I was better. also making a joke. Steak sauce does not make the steak better. Really? You don't like steak sauce? I do like it. I just think that if you... Okay, Matt. Tell me if if you if you go over to someone's house, they they plop a, a steak down, they put some steak sauce next to you. What's your next move? I'll, the, I'm gonna tell you if you're right. making the right move. I will taste the steak first, but I will still put steak sauce yes. on it for the next. Part. Good, because it's like all right, I'll appreciate the flavor of the meat before I change it up with the steak sauce. I like no matter how good the steak is, I still like putting steak sauce on it. You gotta at least take a first bite. And eat it and be like, that's a good steak. And then you pour steak sauce. Don't smut, don't put it on the steak. I don't That'll put it get on the people steak. mad. You gotta put it on the side. So when you're dipping it, you know, it, it's it's not that big of a deal. You know, unless it's like But a, I feel like it's manners to not yeah. to not just douse it in steak sauce the moment they slap it on your plate. But if it's like a steak from like like a four dollar steak from the grocery store and I already know what the quality's like, I'll just go straight for the steak sauce. What four dollar steak are you buying, man? Probably ones I shouldn't be buying. Are they green? <laughs> They have been. I bought steak once and it was bad, so I didn't even get to eat it. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. We'll see if this video makes any money. <laughs> They're gonna pick up the. Those copyright systems are very. Like, They're good. They're, They're really good now. Fucking good. You used to be able to change speed and like just little things, but you can't now... even change pitch now. Like they figure it out. I know. How it's do they crazy. do it? Like, like I'll, I'll take a song, like an instrumental version of a song. And like change the speed by like 125 percent, and they flag it instantly. I'm well, like, how? When technology can do like multiple calculations within milliseconds, I mean, I guess like it does. It's not like it's hard for us because it's like as a human, it's like how do you figure that out? But I'm sure technology is like, fuck you, dude. It is so smart. Technology has just it surpassed us. Speaking we're, of surpassing, we're moving too fast, dude. We are, dude. We're moving way too fast. I'm we getting need scared. To, we need to calm down. We need to be like, okay, let's hold up. Let's just let's let's let. Um, our general population get accustomed to technology because most people like at least that I, I see fucking grew up in the 20s you know? <laughs> Baby boomers my grandpa was born in like 1920 something He does not know what a computer is and and here I am his grandson a famous let's player all, all in two generations see you could you could Introduce him to the internet age by letting him watch that's uh, not gonna mega happen videos. whatsoever Could like cuz he doesn't even know what a computer is and then I show him my voice coming out of the screen Making jokes about like having sex with my sister, and he's gonna be like, "Huh, okay, damn, that's that's some good shit." <laughs> <laughs> he's smoking some like a big old blunt. <laughs> Dude, <man. laughs> my grandpa. <laughs> 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 that shit's dank. Whoa, Matt. What the fuck? Matt fucks his sister. Oh fuck yeah, you got it, dude. Uh, just we did it though. No episode I wanna, complete. We're all done. We get never high. have to do super mega again. There we go. If you want to get high, can I suggest some marijuana, <coughs> dude? Can I say that? Who's? Hello. Hello. There's a uh, curious onlookers outside the window, uh, watching us Who's record that? super mega. Now the pressure is? is on. The pressure is, is on. Is? Yeah. I, I think I think it's uh, Michelle Visage from uh, Drag Race. <coughs> RuPaul's Drag Race. Michelle. Who? <laughs> Sorry, I was I was starstruck, so I. Michelle. She just saw me die in Mario. Michelle. Fuck. That was Ver very embarrassing. Mich Michelle Visage just watched me die in Mario. Versace? Oh my god, Ryan, I hate this game, dude. I'm looking up Michelle. I forgot how bad I am at Mario, and also the delay on the kid. I'm making a lot of excuses. I'm just gonna shut up and play Mario. This is what comes up when I see. That's. No, not for. You, you said Michelle Versace. That's not how you spell. It's it's like. You, you typed Michael Versace. Well. <laughs> Michelle V I S A G E. Oh, oh, god damn it!
Oh, so many fucking weeds, dude. Where are they? Uh, they should be in my rolling papers. 420 is technically tomorrow, so... Uh, I guess that means it's time to smoke weed. It's gonna be a Saturday, we're gonna chill out, max, relax. Catch that big old fish that you made run away because what, what, what are you doing tomorrow for, for 420? Uh... Are you doing anything? I don't know if I'm doing anything big. I mean, it's just a usual it's just, day. It's gonna be a regular Saturday for you? Yeah, that fish is gone now. I'm going to... I'm going to hang out with my friend Hamps. He's gonna give me some Ableton lessons. Shit, dude. And then, uh... That's me, epic. Me and him and Harrison might go to round one later. Whoa. Which, if you would like to come, you are more than welcome. On Saturday? Home. Saturday night. I might be getting dinner. And I'm only saying this because with, uh, the episode will be out after this Saturday, so I'm not spoiling any plans. Good. Be freaks to come stalk me. Just kidding, you guys aren't freaks. I think I am going to dinner with a lovely couple, so... Really? Couple oh, of idiots! Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's uh, it, it, Ryan is he, he Justin his... and Stella, the the office couple. Wink, smooch. They're looking for a surrogate in the relationship as like a third uh, third member. So they're taking Ryan out for the interview. I like being the third wheel. It's pretty fun. Would you ever join a uh, polyamorous relationship, Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Would you? Actually. Oh, oh, buddy! I Ooh. preemptively press it. I don't know why. Yeah, that was I a... get nervous. Oh, 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 fuck! What am I doing? Mama mia, dude! I'm I'm blowing chunks everywhere. Oh, I saw a weed we missed. Your mama. <laughs> oh, dude. I just want to get home and pack a fat fucking blunt for 420, dude. Ah, dude, buddy. what if your girlfriend made you a 420 gift basket like Easter, but it's just stuff like hot Cheeto fries, Arizona iced tea. Eye drops, Cheetos, Snickers. What? Oh. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh, it's a sea bass. Yeah, baby. Sea bass. I'm I saw that I saw that on like Facebook or something. It was like, oh, my I'm gonna, God, I'm my... gonna let it go, right? You should get your partner a, a 420 Goodbye. basket. Yeah, let him go. Ryan, I got a question for you. What? Dude, if you smoke Kush and masturbate. Is it weed whacking or huh. hijacking? Uh, I like weed whacking. That's, yeah, that, that sounds that's pretty better. good. That's pretty good. I, I stole that from Reddit. I didn't come up with Did that. Did you? Guys. I didn't. Oh, so you steal your jokes now? What? No, when I steal my Who jokes. Who are you? Amy Schumer? I'm going to admit that I stole my jokes. Unlike that cuck Amy Schumer. That stupid liberal cuck. Amy Schumer. Oh, I deserve Amy. to be paid as much as famous comedians who have been around longer than I have and have won Emmys and Grammys. Okay, Amy. Grammys? They sing? What? Chris Rock. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was thinking only of Dave Chappelle. I'm like, did Dave Chappelle drop an album? Why is this gonna be so much fucking trouble? <laughs> Ugly butterfuck again. Oh, shit, dude. Look at the size. <laughs> Weed <sighs> joke! <laughs> Ooh. Green crate warning may create awesome parties. Now, Matt... Mm. You you yourself create some awesome parties. Do you think a green box from God could do a better job than you? Yo, all I know is that if I'm at a party and there's a box of some green, it's gonna be awesome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we marijuana is is a plant, um, and it it grows in more so the northern hemisphere, uh, yes. the northwestern hemisphere. It does. It, it um, contains a, a chemical called THC, which yep. stands for. Thermo hydraulic tetra tetrahydrocarbonide. Yeah, that. Um, yes, and then uh, what, what happens when you tetrahydrocannabinol? Cannabinol, that's what it is, not carbonide. Tetrahydrocannabinol. Now, Ryan, tell me something about tetrahydrocannabinol. Uh, tetrahydrocannabinol, uh, depending on I guess what type you get, um, uh, makes you feel uh, different ways. Yeah. For example, maybe what it could have made me could have bring me closer to Christ. Yes, it could make you, it could put you in a more spiritual position. So I was partaking in some marijuana. Stop! No. I'm sorry, I was. And uh, out of the blue, my mom's like, "Hey, can I call you?" This <laughs> is after I smoked, and I'm like, "Fuck." You and, told me this, and I haven't talked to her in a while, so I felt bad. <laughs> so I said, uh, "Sure." Um, yeah, and so she all of a sudden she started calling, and I didn't was like, "Oh no, I didn't mean right now." So I picked up. And I'm like, uh, "Hey, mom, wait one second. And so I'm like, "I'm gonna, I gotta go feed Lego or something." 
And so I put my phone on my dresser. Sorry, I'm like hiccuping and burping. So I went to my bathroom and I got these things and I looked and it said drops. So I'm like, awesome. So I I unscrew the cap and, you know, like you're about yeah. to put eye drops in. You open know, you the eye, lean back. Open the eye, lean back. And I just squirted a shit ton because I'm like, I just want to flood my body with moisture. You know, I want to flood my eye with moisture. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, the most painful sensation overcame my <laughs> eye. And it stung, and it took me by surprise, and I, I jolted back, and I'm like, oh! And I'm like, did something go wrong? And I went down, and I went down to pick it up. They weren't eye drops. They were ice drops. <laughs> they were that, that you buy. They're in a small blue container that look like eye drops that they sell all the time at, like, for bre- 7-11. It was, it was a breath. I, well, okay, here's yeah. what happened. At 7-Eleven one night... <laughs> It was just one of those little knickknacks that they'll sell like by the checkout for like a week. Yeah. And it was these like super powerful breath drops that come in a tiny container and they're like, I'll, they're I'll blue. And I was like, I was like, sure, I'll try these. Why not? Maybe it'll make my breath smell good. So I bought some and somehow they ended up in Ryan's room. So <laughs> Ryan, you put the, the fucking breath drops in your eye. You poured multiple drops into my eye. You could have blinded yourself. That could have blinded you. And I just you. stood there and I'm like looking, reading the label like, oh, what happens if this, if I get it in my eye? And then I just started washing it out. Oh. Oh my God. And then my mom's like, what's going on? I'm like, nah, I'm just getting Lego some water. Sorry. He's being a bit rambunctious. But yeah, <laughs> I ended, I ended, oh yeah, to, to pull it off, I put on my, uh, my work glasses. Oh, that, the ones that like filter out the, the blue light? Yeah, that are tinted yellow. So you can't tell that my eyes are red and one is semi squinted. <laughs> and I think I tried to film one side of my face more because one of my eyes was like, my eye was just closed. You should have, you should have put, um, you should just put like a band aid over your eye. <laughs> like, sorry, mom, I fell. <laughs> but you actually don't have to get every single part. There's certain parts you technically don't have to get. And I could be using a guide, but you know what, Ryan? We're not going to use a guide. It's okay. more fun when we're risky. So this is the uh, this is the ship's engine. So, whoop, dolphin's main engine. Cool. That's all we need. Let's go home. Let's go home, guys. That's Wait, it. Do I need? No, I need 20 Pikmin. So, uh, first day, I'm going to harvest Pikmin and I'm going to get this engine. So let's go uh, get more, 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 more pellets that we can grow more Pikmin with. Are they gonna be Pikmin with noses? Yeah, because they're red. <sighs> Ryan, just, just chill, dude. Sorry, just. Where? Oh, they're so stupid. They got stuck in a little. So the blue ones don't have noses. Nope. I don't think the yellow ones do either. <sighs> the yellow ones have. Don't they have ears? I think. That's fine. No, the yellow ones have the flowers on them, don't they? Or... Fuck. Whoops. Well, no, wait, which ones have flowers on them? They all can get flowers. It's, the, it's like their strength level. So oh, really? the leaf is, um, when they're leafy, that's fuck. When, when, when they have a little leaf, that's their, like, they're slow and not very strong. Mm-hmm. And then uh, when they have a bud, they're a little stronger and faster. And then when they have... I know when I get a little bud, I get stronger and faster. <laughs> is what? Another intriguing discovery! A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar! When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. So, like, I, like I said in the last episode, flowers means they're much stronger. So see, I got some growing into flowers here. I'm gonna get the get, get some of that grass. Get that grass, boys. Pick it. Here. Yeah. All in one! I really just gotta get my, my streaming shit set up. I've been saying that forever. I just have a big to-do list of shit in my life that's I've... like, this is what I gotta do. I have all these super mega live action videos to finish editing. I have to set up my Twitch shit, and I keep saying things publicly, and then I don't follow through with them. So I gotta, I gotta change that. You're a so liar and a thief. I apologize to everyone that has had their hopes up about me, like, like he's gonna stream because he said he's gonna stream really soon, and then he never did. You're selling snake oil, <laughs> guys. I just want to let you know, uh, Super Mega is officially selling snake oil <laughs> as new merch. So if you want to get some snake oil. Uh, go to sharkrobot.com slash supermega, pick up some snake oil. What's that old-fashioned word they used for, like, ailments, that's it. Ailments. Ailments? Where they used all the time. Elixir? Buy some, uh, magic elixir, it'll, it'll heal it'll all your ails. It'll cure any ailment you have. It'll heal all your AIDS. I got the elixir of AIDS, and now my AIDS is cured. You like, uh, you like AIDS? <laughs> oh, nah. Do you like AIDS? Do your friends like AIDS? The try new AIDS. It's back and better than ever. AIDS. A I D S. AIDS. If you thought AIDS was hip in the 80s, try it in 2017. You, you haven't had that new shit. <laughs> you know, like like parents would be like, man, that that marijuana these days, it's nothing like what we had as kids. It's so so much stronger. <laughs> 
Man, man, that, that AIDS these days, it's not like what we had back in the 80s as kids. The, the, the AIDS they got these days, that shit is strong, dude. I can't even handle how strong those AIDS are. Why is marijuana so different? Is it just because of the... Maybe it evolved. Maybe it, uh, maybe it evolved and became... I guess people started to make more hybrids and start farming it yeah, differently, Yeah, they started, started toying around with it. And now that it's like a, a, a corporate thing where uh, corporations are making marijuana, I guess they got to make it the most uh, addictive and potent it can be so people keep buying it. And then, and then Ryan, Ryan said, said something, something really racist. racist. You can't say things like that. Sorry, I didn't mean it. What okay, are those I things? Don't know, those things I, look scary. I can't kill them, apparently. Oh, no, I have to land on top of them to kill them. Okay. Ooh, damn. Are they killing my Pikmin? Oh, shit, they gave me nectar. Come here, boys. Get some of that sweet that sweet yellow juice. Grow some flowers, unless all of them have flowers. Uh, do they all have flowers? No, no. No, I still, I still see some little green leaves over there. I see some green leaves? Some leaves of green? I see leaves of green. That's not the only one. Never mind. Are you gonna make a weed joke? Yeah. Right. That's not family friendly, dude. I'm sorry. If you make one more not family friendly joke on my YouTube channel, Ryan. <laughs> Name this episode. <laughs> and see, see, see if the see if the censors grab us then. I'm sure they will. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure just saying those two words together will the system will pick up and go, like, hey, that's not family friendly. What a five year old can't watch a video titled that. Well, what if you I just know when I turned 18, uh, Daniel and a bunch of our friends, uh, we had a just this, I guess, group that we all went to the same college or just we all lived in the same area, blah, blah, blah. This is probably freshman year of college, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we'd all we'd all turn 18 by then. And so we'd go to the cigar. Uh, I did the uh, same place. thing. Yeah. And like for I, we did it multiple times. Like I'd get a, uh, a glass Coke and a cigar. One of the better tasting ones. Yeah. Just sit out there and just puff puff at it. Well, you don't inhale cigar smoke, right? No. It's simply just no. for the taste. Some people inhale cigarellos just Ugh. because. Yeah, those are always so nasty to me, especially like the scented ones like cherry and, or vanilla. Yeah. I hate that smell. Like, uh, I remember when I was in college, my friends and I, uh, my friend Jackson and Christian, what we'd do is at the end of every semester, we'd get cigars and we'd just go down by these train tracks and smoke like a cigar together. And um, the first time I did, I didn't know you weren't supposed to like inhale, so I just inhale oh, it, and I was like, "Oh God, that uh, that had to burn!" Like, dude, it felt awful. It, it it it's almost like getting the breath knocked out of you. Yeah, it just burned, and I was like, <sighs> and I wanted to go brush, and I brushed my teeth two times after that, and I could still taste it. That's the worst part about smoking a cigar. I I it does not come I, out of your clothes. I didn't your... do it after the age of eighteen, just because like we all grew out of it. Yeah, it's no it's a very to. it's like a novelty thing. You do it on a celebration or you do it because you just turned 18. I did it when I turned 18 because it's yeah. like, oh, well, you know, I just I kind of have to buy a lottery ticket and a cigar. It's yeah. kind of what it's it's like a rite of passage. But every every time we go to the I guess cigar merchant or whatever it was, the tobacco merchant, um after after a night of smoking a cigar, I'd wake up and I just I'd still kind of have taste this it. taste it. It would be on me. It's very thick. It was I remember having to wake up for food line in that state, and that was pro those were the worst mornings. Having to wake up at like five or six a.m. to go to work at food line to deal with customers, as I like just just imagine waking up just ah oh ew uh, just well this... can't wait to go uh, spend all day at food line and probably take someone's shift because they want to leave early because they want to hang out with their boyfriend. Fucking asshole. Cigars like I I don't I like the smell of cigars, but <coughs> the taste is just something completely different and, yeah. and it's not a good taste no i just don't see the enjoyment out of it because i it's what like dictators smoke like castro and you don't stuff, get a just... do you get a buzz from it or anything i don't remember getting a buzz or anything. i just remember it's like it's, it's the like taste a... and just like hanging out with the boy it's like it's oh. like a class thing i guess it's yeah. like this is classy smoke a cigar yeah ryan you know what we should do what let's you know from now on every podcast let's just smoke cigars ew Let's just sit. Let's let's bring cigars into the Grumps recording room without their permission and just light up cigars and smoke cigars the whole time. Yeah, dude, if we did that in here, that this this couch, this room, probably never get that smell out. And Aaron would be so mad, <laughs> rightfully so, because yeah. making that room smell like shit. My my dad, one of the rules with uh, the cars, because eventually he found out that I was smoking cigarettes. He's like, "Don't smoke in the car, or else you're gonna stink up the car, and it's gonna be harder to." Sm like sell yeah well it's really hard to get the cigarette smell out like for some you and just it can't, stains some shit too mm -hmm, you cannot get that smell out of cars usually it's yeah like usually to get the smell of cars i think you have to change like all the seats and you have to change the you know the carpets and stuff mm -hmm. and it's gross because when you actually smoke indoors it'll go into the walls 
and it's isn't there a picture of like someone's grandmother or something like smoked every day and all yeah. of a sudden when she died you could see kind of like an outline of the couch yeah i saw it on reddit where she she would like smoke on her laptop every day yeah where she'd lean up against the wall and it was just an outline of a person because the rest of the wall was yellow and where she was was lighter because she smoked there for like 20 years just always sitting there reading or on the computer in the same spot so it was just lighter there which is really gross because that means like all that shit was just sinking into the walls so they would have to like actually remove all the wallpaper to get that smell out and probably scrub the walls so there's like two things that started just making me kind of gag a little bit after uh smoking for a while um of course that would be the dry smoke i'd always have to have something to drink but Ugh. it would um Cigarettes it was so gross. when i would get down to the end of it i'd look at the filter yeah turn the you know the filter would be yellow yeah, it's like, all yellow it's second. like that's going in your lungs and Ugh. then you do that experiment with the water bottle with the yeah i, I did that once it, where like, you take you take a water bottle and you take the lid and you cut a hole in it and you stick a cigarette in and you put a paper towel in between the lid and the bottle and you fill the bottle up with water and you light the cigarette like you stick it in the hole in the top and you light it and then you cut a hole in the bottom of the bottle so it sucks all the water out which sucks the entire cigarette into the bottle and then you take it off and you thank you Ryan and then you take it off and you look at the <laughs> you look at the paper towel and it's just like black from all the shit that goes through so that goes in your lungs when you smoke so guys uh don't do that that's gross let's go in your lungs that's smoke gross. responsibly <laughs> i don't think there's such thing <laughs> smoke with an adult resp- over the age of 18 no actually in california it's 21 it's 21 yeah so uh guys smoke responsibly you know <laughs> just do it just just do it just be, be safe about it. be safe about smoking cigarettes you mixing know? nike's athleticism with uh good old tobacco just do it <laughs> Nike starts making cigarettes. Just do it. What if that was Dare's logo? Like their uh, catchphrase. Just do it. They don't Dare doesn't exist anymore, right? Why doesn't does it really not exist? Because it didn't anymore? work. Of course it didn't work. I think they realize that and they're like, we should change our focus more to people drinking and doing things responsibly instead of Are telling them sure not to do it it's, at all. It's, I don't think Dare exists. I think they got rid of it. They still have the website. Well, I don't think they teach it in schools anymore. I don't think that because I remember Dare would come to my school. It was school, a big thing. I remember. And I remember they would come, and it would be like a three-day thing where they'd show us all these videos. And they'd you know they'd cart in the TV, they wheel it in on the little cart, and on the VHS player they'd play like a Dare movie, and then we'd have to write an essay about why we're never gonna do drugs or drink alcohol. And uh, I, I remember that. I wonder if I can. I bet I have my Dare essay somewhere. And we got like stickers that would say Dare and uh, shirts. I want a Dare shirt. I love Dare. I like. I like that logo. It's fun. I, fun little logo. I don't think they would show up to like my school that much because it's also like about like gang and violent behavior, and just my area wasn't prone to that type of stuff. Oh really? I I, I remember. I think mine was just joints, smoking weed and shit. That's just what. Don't my smoke area. no joints, kids. But e- everywhere. Like, so many people smoke marijuana. That's the thing. Like, I, I I, thought when I lived in South Carolina, it would be the hardest thing to find. But it's so easy just to be like, hey, where's the weed at? Where it at, though? And then they take you to an open field and then shoot you in the back of the head. Because that's illegal. Marijuana is illegal and do not don't, smoke don't it. Don't smoke marijuana. If you guys learned the lesson on that story, if you try to smoke marijuana, you're going to get shot in the back of the head in a field. Guys, so please. Fuck off. Please don't smoke marijuana. It leads to getting shot in the back of the head. Dude, isn't that, isn't that fucking crazy? Like, we're made up of tiny little, like, factories, essentially, that are super intricate. Like, we're made up of billions and billions of these little, like, complete packages that work processes all day and, like, eat shit and produce waste and, like, work and have different, like, components and shit. And we're made up of that, and that's what we are. And then that whole community, this whole civilization that we are made up of... There's a nuclear power plant at the top, which is our brain, that has a bunch of chemical reactions that make no goddamn sense Dude, every now and then. The body, when you think about it, the human body, not just the human body, just like animals and plants, like, that's fucking insane. Yeah. Like, think about it on that level. Like, it's just blowing my mind, you know? This sounds, it sounds like like I'm high and I'm like, dude, the human body. It's dude! Like, it's amazing. We're made up of fucking cells, I dude! I, I just don't think about it that often. Whoa! I thought about it, I'm like, whoa! Like you're riding a roller coaster. Whoa! Dude, I'm riding the roller coaster of life right now. This is fucking sweet, bro. Whoa. Hey, dude. Yeah. You ever think that your brain is like a fucking, uh, 
nuclear reactor, bro? Because you know how they say that you, your brain reacts like chemical reactions, like love, oh, and, shit. Uh, like love and hate and, and sadness. It's... What if? What if? Our brain is just a giant nuclear factory, you know what I'm saying? Dude, what if, like, your whole body is, like, it's like a city, and, Holy like, your, fuck like shit. your brain is, like, town hall, oh, I'm bro, coming, and, like, I'm coming. Oh. like, your, like, your liver is, oh, is, seeping out of my penis. What? What? Dude, like, and, like, your, your, dude, your butthole's like oh. a, like a, like a, Somebody like a dump, you. where they dump the trash, and, like, your heart, your heart's like the civic center, dude, like, what, <laughs> wasn't that crazy? Oh, your feet are your feet are like public transportation, bro. Oh, dude, it's like the infrastructure, bro. Your dude, your dude, nipples dude. are like a oh, fuck. It's like a dairy plant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude, dude, I could use some Dairy Queen right now. Oh fuck, bro. Get your mom in here. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Don't fuck, dude. Boys, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing, Dad. Nothing. N nothing. Just hanging out. Can I have a hit, boys? Uh, dad? Sure. Sure, Dad. Sure, Dad, yeah. Here. Okay, boys. Jesus Christ! Oh, Dad. This isn't your daddy's cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what like every adult says about it. It's like, the stuff they got nowadays is nothing like what we had in the 70s. It's so much stronger. I, I... <laughs> My therapist said that. He was like... He's like, Maddie, stuff they got these days ain't nothing like what we had. It ain't your mother's marijuana. <laughs> it ain't your grandma's marijuana. <laughs> I love that, like, uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade. It's like, it's, it's not, it's not, your, it's, it's not it's your not mother's bad. lemonade. It's not horrible. No, I actually, I like Mike's Hard I Lemonade. I drink it because no, I'm a good. bitch and I like ciders and Mike's Hard that Lemonade. It doesn't make you a bitch. I hate the stigma that it's like fruity alcoholic beverages makes you a bitch. It's like, no, it, it tastes good. Like so, like, so, so when you drink a Fanta, are you a little bitch? Cause yeah. you're drinking a fruity, uh, drink. Yeah. It's like, it's like when I go to McDonald's, it's like, can I get a Sprite? It's like, wow, little bitch, you like fruity drinks. It's like, what? The, what? I, is it because alcohol is supposed to be like this manly, like, dude, I down straight whiskey by no, the gallon. I think it comes to beer. Like people, like guys drink wine and shit. I love wine. I had wine last night. White wine is. I had white wine last night. It was tasty. Yeah. Um, Fuck I, me! By the way, I told Jackson. Oh, hold on. What? Uh, ah! Before I let Matt continue on what he was trying to tell me. Yeah, go ahead. Audience, do this with me. Okay. Matt, do it too. Are we doing cows? It's going to feel great. No. I don't know. <laughs> so take your whole body, start tensing it up. Tense it up and start like you can arch your back. Oh, no, that hurts, dude. And then uh, let it go. Release that lactic acid that you're building. Uh, up. That actually hurts my body. I don't know if that's supposed to hurt as bad as it did for me. Oh, you tense up your legs and your arms. All right, and bro. You let it go. Oh, fuck, that's relaxing as shit. Is that good for you? Uh, I used to do this thing to help me get to bed because I used to have problems falling asleep where basically it was like exercises like that where you'd start with your feet and you tense them up. Then you tense up your legs. Oh, yeah. Tense up your arms and then you do your whole body. And then I'd never be able to finish it because I'd fall the fuck asleep. When I, when I uh, can't fall asleep, my mom taught me this when I was a kid and it always works for me is I just start counting down from 100 very slowly, and then I'll start like messing up the numbers and repeating them or skipping them, which means that I'm getting sleepier. And then if I hit zero, I just start over again. And usually I don't make it to <coughs> like the second round of going from 100 to zero because it makes me fall asleep. Just trying to clean up our town. Maybe I need bit. to try that. It works really well I've for been, me. I do really well in terms of getting myself to bed now because uh, I can I can do things that um, uh, marijuana. No. <laughs> the, other, the other M word. Matt. Come and get it. <gasps> what? Oh, damn. Was that a glitch? That, yeah, that a but glitch? you still got the... Dude, go through puberty, dude. When I get upset, my voice gets high, Ryan. Because it's smoking all that kush. Ha <laughs> ha. Very nice. Do you think Jesus ever smoked weed? Yeah. Think so? He loves that good Kush. You think Jesus ever smoked Kush, dude? His nickname was Kush McGee. Yeah, some people call him the Christ. <laughs> you know, the boys and I, we just call him Kush McGee. <laughs> You've been smoking too much of that Kush, man. Dude, the Final Supper, there were, there were, they, there was no bread breaking. They were smoking. They were passing a fat ass blunt around that table. Is there a cute picture of a dog, and it's called? In, in that scene, and it's called the final pepper. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fucking awful. You know what I'm fucking saying? You silly man. How much money would you pay to be at the Last Supper if they were just passing a blunt around instead of like breaking the blunt? <laughs> they were price? passing a blunt around. It's probably in reality more what it was. Dude, I'm lanky and I'm about to fucking get little tiny bitch. Is that her name in the game? <laughs> Little tiny bitch. <laughs> little tiny Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude, man. Dude, he's he's gonna he's not, he's having fun. He's, like, he's, he's, he's gonna slam into a wall, and that thing's gonna go into his throat. Like, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, sea bass. Well, it's okay. We can still sell them. Sea bass. We're just gonna fill up the inventory and then sell everything that we've caught for the day. I like that. I like that idea a lot, buddy. Look at this. It's a good fucking idea. And all that weed. And all that weed, dude. Pull on that fucking weed. Ah, <laughs> ganja. Know, what if you could grow weed at Animal Crossing? Why are there so many fucking words for weed? You know what there I'm are. saying, homie? Any anything naughty has a lot of euphemisms. You know? <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> weed. There's, there's weed, pot, marijuana, Mary Jane, reefer, ganja, kush. Oh, hash, you bitch. Uh, dank, loud. You already said reefer, right? Reefer? I, I don't remember if I said reefer. I think I said reefer. Keef? Keef? Chief Keef? What else? There's so many nugs. Got some nugs. It's gonna float and he's gonna. Ugh. What about just general. Oh, green? Oh man, you got some green, you got some grass, you got some some cabbage, some of daddy's cabbage. You got some Scooby snacks, man? Not a big fan of Scooby snacks, brother. I was about to say something, but I can't spoil future tours just in case it doesn't happen type of thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But like, it was, um, in Canada we did a show with Finn Wolfhard where, uh, Ryan and Finn cooked me some, uh, poutine on stage. Uh, poutine in a jar. It was disgusting. An unwashed grocery store Oh, I didn't jar. know it was unwashed, okay. I mean, it, we washed it with the ingredients that we put yeah, in Yeah, that's it. fine. We <laughs> washed it with the food that I ate. Um, I'm sure none of that sanitary shit links to you being sick right now yeah i i started feeling sick on tour um the tour blues and so did jackson because he was our merch guy on tour the touring crew was me ryan jackson tucker not jackson and tucker jackson tucker yeah who's not tucker we'll just call him way. jackson there's no other jackson in our universe that's true yeah so okay. jackson. you me jackson vernon and adam yeah and y'all don't we we don't talk about adam too much because we talked about him on the last podcast yeah people got a nice little taste of adam <laughs> yeah uh you know leaving the van unlocked we talked about we talked about him on the tour especially after he left the van unlocked all night Listen oh. to the last episode of the podcast if you're if you're curious about what went on uh, during tour. Um, it's a good episode. The qual the sound quality shit. We recorded it on Ryan's iPhone. And we <laughs> yeah. were all drunk and it was two a.m. in an echoey room, but it was fun. I actually loved that episode. We should do more kind of not drunk. We were fucking drunk that night. Man, we were incredibly wasted. I'm a lightweight, and I had a cider and then like four cocktails. Yeah. Because there was that one that was delicious. That mango it's, drink it's, we had at Pock Pock. The Mango Alexander. Oh my god, dude. Pock Pock is a restaurant in Portland, Oregon. It's like the best Thai food in America. It was, I haven't had better Thai food, it but was so I good. haven't had Thai food in Thailand. So Yeah, true. But in America, that's the best Thai food I've ever had. Yeah. It was incredible. And afterwards, we went to a little bar owned by the same restaurant. And they, they had these amazing cocktails, and they also had, like, an alcoholic Vietnamese coffee. So I tried to sip yeah. of that. I was like, fuck, I don't like coffee, but this is good. I had Probably because I was getting drunk. Well, yeah. Like, oh, there's cider? Like, I think it was an in-house yeah, cider. Yeah, that was amazing. Which was super. I forget what kind of cider. It wasn't apple. It was something else. It was, it was uh... I don't remember. Was it peach? It, it was like pear. I don't, I don't, it was good. It, it was whatever good. it was. It was good. So if you're ever if you ever find yourself in the Portland area, we both highly recommend Pock Pock. And then um, I know there's several Pock Pocks, but what's the bar called? Uh, the Do whiskey. Not not was it the whiskey something? It's literally across the street. It was super good. We each had like six cocktails. And then I also had like a pilsner, like their house pilsner. We took sips of each other's drinks. Yeah, we we got wasted, and then we were like, "Fuck, we got to do the podcast." Y'all had y'all had beers during the podcast. Yeah, I Jack just, and I too. I quit. I was like, "I'm I'm done. I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna drink anymore." But I was still pretty uh, on it because I uh, I was still taking hits of uh, the weed pen. Yeah, I. Uh, Jackson, Wait, what sound? What does anything sound better? Is it weed, marijuana? Like what sounds less shitty? Is reefer. it all? You got a reefer? reefer? Okay. Yeah. So I had my reefer pen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
Because, like, is there, is there a way to, like, talk about marijuana where you don't sound like a high schooler? Like, yeah, I was, I was hitting the weed pin or, like, the pot pin. I don't know. It sucks because when you talk about alcohol, it seems very, like, unless you're talking about getting weight. I don't know. Even when you're talking about being wasted, I don't know. Whenever I hear people talk about alcohol, it's like, oh, it's alcohol. But whenever someone talks about weed, it spurs that thing in my brain it's that's like, like, whoa, dude. Whoa, it's weed? Whoa. Say daddy lettuce or reefer. Or uh, God's green grass. That was the devil's lettuce. Did you just call it daddy's lettuce? Well, it's legal now, so it's not the devil's <laughs> that lettuce is anymore, true. Ryan. Well, uh, I mean, in, in in a lot of states, I was surprised. In Canada, uh, I went to, uh, what do you call it? Dispensary. A dispensary. And they have this rule. I don't know if it's just Vancouver and Canada in general, where they can't sell sugar-based marijuana like edibles. So you can't get brownies or cookies or anything. They They would only sell... Pills, like capsules. You could get like the plant and you can get it in uh, li- liquid form and shit, but they s- for some reason can't sell sugar based edibles. What? Is that so like kids don't? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Try to eat them up? <laughs> America's gonna be like, dude, McDonald's soon is gonna be like, you know, they're gonna cook it in o- like uh, cannabis oil, their french fries and shit. Gives a whole new meaning Just... to McNuggets. You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> get nugs? McNuggets, yeah. Like dude. nugs. Yes, yeah, some nugs. <laughs> Anyways, um, we've talked... Okay, so that wraps up our weed talk for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, 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 do I, what do I fucking have? Um, I was talking to a psychiatrist one time, and they are like, it's not generalized anxiety disorder. It's some, like, mini... Yes! Some mini panic attack. Aww. Ooh. But those sell for quite a bit. Okay, I caught two. Here, Matt. She can donate those bugs you caught. I already did. You weren't paying... You were watching porn. Well, in the last episode. Okay, now I don't feel so bad. Yeah, it's all right, man. I was about to say, if I missed it just because I was, like, texting my mom. Well, that's okay. Your mom texted my mom yesterday as well, too. The same day she texted me. Your mom was on a texting frenzy yesterday. She texted my mom. She texted me. Well, she texted my mom for my number, which then my mom gave out to your mom, which, mom. It's I actually don't... sad the reason she did, though. <laughs> Well, you actually guessed it first try. Because I know, I know how my mom is. I, I, it's I, very sweet. It's so it's sweet. very sweet, and I understand it. But uh, the reason she had to text Matt's mom and then text Matt was to make sure that I wouldn't be alone for my birthday. Which is so caring and sweet. Because I like. Because there's a lot of people that are like, "Let's do something for your birthday," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Um, no, I, I really just don't want to. I don't like going out, okay? I'll just say, I don't like going out that much. And, and, so, and, and then, and then person, people, type of I've been in so many situations where I say, sorry, I don't want to go out, and people get, like, pissed off or peeved, and they're like, ooh, you... it's the people that are like, they don't like me? How can they not like me? That type of person. No. I never, I never take it as you don't like me or you don't want to hang out. I just know you so well, and I know that you are introverted, and I know that <laughs> I'm introverted to the extreme. You are, and and I'm and I'm very extroverted, so I know that you we don't have the same tolerance for going out in places. So I know that like if, if we're going out to a bar and you don't want to tag along, I don't think you're weird. Sometimes for it. I leave early. Yeah, like that Qu- night in Tokyo. Often. But it's like. You know what? That's just how you are. But my mom texted Matt to make okay. sure that I wasn't gonna be alone for she my birthday. She was like, birthday. she was like, please make like, you're gonna you're gonna hang out with Ryan on his birthday, right? Like, <laughs> no, he's my best friend. I'm not gonna even see him. <laughs> but but uh... it's so sweet. The sentiment's so sweet. At the same time, I. It's funny because you're. You're turning 25. And your mom, I know, is, your, your I mom know. is texting your friends asking, Will you hang out with Ryan on his birthday? It's so sweet, though. She, yeah. She's good intentions. She's worried about me and my mental health and all that. Doesn't want me to be alone. I understand it. Thank you, Mom, for worrying about sweet. me. Um, Ryan, well, if you are alone on your birthday, which you won't be because... You already, you, you guys have I, stuff we, planned. We, we, we're, we're planning out a day for you. It's going to be fun. And when I do go out, I like going out in like a small group. It's nice. I yeah. don't like big you're not, groups that much. You're not a big much. fan of large social interactions. No. Like no, party at all. Or... Yeah. We did go to the fort. Well, here's the thing. I can, like with the Fortnite party yesterday, you, I lasted a good bit because I uh, I drank wine, a rum and coke, Don't forget and we, then a screwdriver. Don't forget, we got slurp juice slushies. You did. I didn't. Oh, you didn't get one? No. It was not good. I, I was just okay, good. It wasn't good. So that's how I was able, and we were there for about, what, two hours? A little more, actually. We Okay. Well, we, you, me, and Harrison got pretty, pretty fucked up at that party. Yeah. Well, Ryan, you're... What, what you're saying is you're like... But you remember when it came down to it, I was like, yeah, I, I really... I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, well, also, the thing is, you're saying it like, 
yeah, I can only go to parties like if I if I can you know get drunk. Why do you think they have alcohol parties? A lot of people feel the same way. It makes alcohol makes you more social. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so like, there's been so I, many times that like, uh, I like Aaron to... and like Aaron will be hosting this thing at his place and suit and Su- This is how they do it. This is how they trap me. Because Susie will be like, hey, we're having everybody over. And it'll be like, Tucker, Layton, you. Uh, she does that a thing bunch where of people she, she for opens work. her mouth and that, that weird, and like. And she just sec- fucking talks, dude. That, that second tongue thing <laughs> comes out and, like, wraps around your neck and puts it injects that poison <laughs> shit that makes you want to come over. Oh, yeah. But uh, in this in this uh, occasion, she she texts me. He's like, hey, do you want to come? And I'm like, sorry, I just, uh, just kind of want to stay home. And all of a sudden, I'll get a call from Layton. And this is going to sound shitty. I don't pick up on purpose because I know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to, because if they get me on the phone and they're like, come on, guys, well, please come over. And I'm just like, uh, and I know, like, I'm going to be pressured into saying yes. So I won't talk. Because you're a yes but, man. But then I'll get a, a text afterwards being like, hey, I'm at Susie's. You should come. And then she'll, then if I don't respond, she'll be like, hey, we got weed. I'm like, uh, okay. And then that. See, perks that, me up that, that a little bit. That makes the ears perk up a little bit. Because I'm like, okay, I can I can at least get high at this event. But then, even if I'm like, then I'll go, maybe. Fuck. And then they'll have Tucker or a third person, like, text or call me and be like, hey, um. It's, I mean, it's a fuck. It's it's peer pressure. <laughs> it, 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 it's a, it's, I'm actually, uh, it, may, it means a lot that they go through that much trouble well, to we bring me you. out. Yeah, and, like, and you're and you're you, self-conscious. And, you, and you guys barely see me anyways as it is. Well, you see me a lot. You see me more than anyone. Do I? Because you have to. Oh, that's true. I do, yeah. I mean, you probably see me. No. Just because I live with them. Yeah. But uh, outside of of the people I live with. Aside, I of, aside from your roommates. Yes. I, I see you more than anybody. Well, I'll be also just have we have to see each other to keep the bills going, you know? Yeah. <laughs> keep Fucking the bills paid. Keep the, keep the ship floating. But uh, no, like before I, I... Well, let me tell you something. And maybe this can help some people out there, too. Uh, like I said... I enjoy social stuff. I'm very You're an extrovert. extroverted. I like I like it. However, I still get crazy social anxiety. Every time I go to a party, every time I go to any kind of gathering, anytime I meet fans, I get super socially anxious uh, that I'm going to be awkward or something. Uh, I think the difference is maybe it's it's how you choose to not how you choose to respond to it, but I, I kind of you kind of fake it. Like I, I you almost like fake confidence, which kind of gives you real confidence. Does that make sense? That's I don't like talking to people with fake like that where we're just faking things. It well, just no, it's not. I'm not, I'm not faking emotions. It's more of I'm just I'm I'm cutting out the fact. I'm trying to overcome the fact that I'm socially anxious. And then if there's alcohol, boom, then I'm not Fixed. actually problem anxious. solved. All you need is one drink, and you're like, oh, there goes that anxiety, which is how alcoholism forms. We got a rare Stegosaurus torso. <gasps> uh, what else we get? Ocean dwelling plesiosaur. So I I wonder if we have. That's just a little light shit. I dude, need- wait. Is stop? Can we buy some weed, dude? Is, is, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Let's buy some weed. Is that a? Is that a? Is that one of those places where the? What? Uh oh. What happened? I backed into someone. Minus a hundred dollars. Shit. Damn I'm just it. trying to get my load. We we're I just trying around, to get though. some good Kush and alcohol. I got some down bitches I can call. Really? Who? Um. Don't. Don't say it, Ryan. I won't. We've Don't been on a, we've it. been on a roll lately. Okay, fine. You can, shit. Oh, Ugh. what, Matt? It's it's not. What? I I need what to make a do? U-turn. I'm trying to make a U-turn. You just here. hit another car. Yeah, another hundred dollars. Their insurance probably. will cover it. We're off to a good start. Okay, shit. Okay. Watch out for this guy. He's he's just shaking. It. Mm-mm. He's looking at this. That's not a good driver right there. Stupid lady driving named Dale. <laughs> God damn it, Dale. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that is definitely a place to buy some pot. Oh, green going green. Green going green. Go and then blue? level two, Windy Valley. I'm not saying it was aliens. <laughs> what did they do? Fart aliens. in it? Get windy. <laughs> oh, man, Justin. Uh, you this are, is this is another great song here. Ooh, I do like this. Ooh, what's that enemy? Uh, Big Worm Man. Ooh. I want to look at another one if oh, you, if I you gotta, have time. I got to fix the, the camera. Got to fix that shit? There we go. Yeah. God. You should, uh... Next time we come across one of those worm people, you... I will. I will. Ryan and I should. There's kiss. another one coming up. No, watch this, guys. Uh oh, there's Ooh. no road to run on. What do we do? Oh shit! You run on the leaves. You fly through yeah. the air. Nice. You guys. So he ran on the leaves. Yes. 
Yo, I love running on some leaves after work, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, dude, oh. I'm, I'm running on leaves right now, man. Ooh. Stinky. Stinky, oh, stinky shit. leaves. Whoa. <laughs> and that's marijuana. the end of the game. Okay. <laughs> Sonic just died <laughs> a tornado. But yeah, uh, they want to remaster, or someone at Sonic Team wants to remaster the adventure games because of how, like, rough they are, but then there's also other people in Sonic Team that say they don't want to do anything adventure related because they want to further the, the character like like they want to go they want to make new shit instead. yeah which is like it's fine but like this is whoa. i think the best format for sonic i mean couldn't they work whoa. on two games at once couldn't they work on this and uh whoa what the fuck wow <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Hey, yep. what's going on whoa i'm i'm seeing things man i think i smoked too much kush <laughs> when the skunk too good i pressed left bumper and then he moved was that me or did, was it just doing i thing? i don't i don't <laughs> I usually do the other pinball machine when I play. This, uh, that was crazy, man. Fuck, dude, you know, like, going back to method acting real quick, are, are there, like, movie scenes where characters have to be drunk? I was watching Superbad recently, and I was thinking, like, man, the, the party scene, like, they're really convincingly drunk. Yeah. Do, it, it, do you think, like, a lot of actors in scenes where they have to be drunk, do you think they ever actually get drunk for those scenes to, like, make it more real? <sighs> That's difficult, because... That could impede your performance, but it also could help. I think the way it would help a performance is if the script was not the script, but the movie in general was more improv based, allowing the actor's character to kind of come out through the drunkness. But if you're trying to be a character and you're drunk, then I think that your personal kind of uh, your personal being will leak into the character a little. Oh, bit. that's true. Yeah, that's totally true. Good but thing. like for stuff like Super Bad, where they're improving pretty much the whole movie. I mean, I'm sure maybe they were drunk. I'm sure yeah. some of them were high during the shooting of it. I mean, knowing all of them. It's Seth Rogen. Yeah. You know, it's Seth Rogen movie. Definitely. I mean, Pineapple Express, dude. I have not seen Pineapple Express. That, that sticky, icky marijuana, dude. Dude, don't you ever say the words marijuana on this podcast, Ryan. I'm sorry. You're going to get us demonetized. You're going to get all of our brand, our, 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 our advertisers to pull out. Prop six, 64, 8, what is it? Prop whatever. Prop 420. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I, I think that one of the marijuana laws was, like, Prop 420. When, where? Here? Here in California. When? Like, recently. Oh, I thought that was, like, Prop 60-something. Or something. Well, there, there was some marijuana thing that they actually, like, labeled 420. Oh. Play the air horns, right? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Excited for all those good action movies coming out on 420. Are there, is 420, like, a Friday this year? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Adam from YMS uploaded an image. is like, interesting release date, and it was a picture of... Uh, the release date of Rampage, the new, the new, Dwayne. the new future hit blockbuster from Dwayne the Rock Johnson, where they're fighting big monsters. Dude, he is like we played, we played Rampage. We did. We and played. You liked it. It's a good game. Yeah, I, I feel like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Like, there's got to be some global conspiracy where he he must have blackmail on like every big Hollywood producer, and he's like, all right, put me in your movies now, or it's else like, I'll release it. It's like a Tom Cruise case where Hollywood picks this one person to pamper up. Yeah, you know how you know there was. Also, you think of uh, oh, Robert Downey Jr., how he came back from... I'm surprised he was able to come back. I don't think he could come back today in the, in the kind of political climate to, of today. I don't think Robert Downey Jr. could do the comeback he did back in 2008. Wait, what did he come back from? Uh, being drunk and drugs and Oh, yeah, that that's shit. right. I like, forgot. Like hookers, I think. I forgot well. he, had a, he had a little rough phase. Yeah, and then he came back with Iron Man. Which was a super interesting choice by Marvel or who, whatever executive. I don't know if the uh, Favreau made the decision or if there was like more of the casting director, but damn, that saved his career. And then he became one of the he became the top most paid actor. But now it's of course Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dude. Oh my God, dude, monkeys! Let's Please see. tell me we gotta fight them all. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, dude, What's I love they have the exact ring? same, uh, and they all the exact same, like, animations, so they're all oh, walking back. Oh, fuck. Dude, this is a nightmare. Dude, fucking monkey, stop This is back. my favorite part of the game. Come here. He's wearing a hat? The fuck? They've evolved <laughs> to wear hats? Yeah, and one was shooting a gun at me earlier. Oh my god, dude. I love this. I just want a game where you just have to fucking beat the shit out of monkeys. You know, you there's a hat, like, eat them all? Dude! They're like, you know, zombie games with the waves? How much scary would it be if you're like a jungle outpost and though it's waves of monkeys coming? Like, from within the jungle. Hey, he's like, popping one off at me. Hey! Does one of them have a gun? Someone has a gun. Dude, dude, the monkey has a gun. Stop, monkey. The monkey fucking learned how to use a gun. 
Gotcha. This isn't a boss battle, right? This is just some fucking... Oh, it's just it's just a bunch of monkeys having a ball. But look at all the items. They're hooting and hollering. Stop. Oh, man. That was terrifying, dude. Reminds Ooh. me of the beginning of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Solid opening to a film. It really is. Okay. I, I, I haven't finished the movie, actually. Uh, but I remember... Um, back in the summer of 2016, Ryan... I, uh... Wait, was it 2016? Yes. Back in the summer of 2016, I, uh... Got insanely high one night when I was home alone, and I watched the opening of that movie, and then I, like, had to go to bed, because it was too much for me. <laughs> you ended up watching the rest of it. No, I didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why not? You know, I was like... I, I, I had partaken in some medical marijuana, Okay. For my chronic uh, gastro Just intestinal you need marijuana for these um, days. And then I was like, I'll watch this movie. But like, I didn't realize that you know, I had a little too much. And then I was just like, oh shit, when that uh, whole intro happened. And I was like, I need to go to bed. That was so amazing. I don't know why I didn't finish the movie. I don't know why my response was just to go to bed, but. Probably because you were too scared. It was scary. Uh oh. Is that a Yeti? No, it's a, it's it's the a guardian. guardian ape? Welcome back to Game Grumps, everybody. Whoa. Starring Super Mega Thank and you also the Game Grumps. Yeah, starring Super um, Mega and featuring the Game Grumps. Before we, <laughs> before we start, Aaron, can I can I light one up in here? Is that yeah? Allowed? You can use one of my many bongs that are in this room. <laughs> oh, I just meant a cigarette. Oh, oh yeah. well, you can you can yeah. empty yeah. out the, the, we'll the tobacco of a cigarette into a bong and smoke it like that. There you go. Oh, yeah. does anyone have a lighter in here? Uh, nope. Sorry. Yeah. Shit. Back before. Oh, well. uh, Back before weed was so legalized he around here, that's how you used to say it. You 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 could only go into the bong store and say uh, that you wanted a t you were going to use it for tobacco purposes. No, because in I like a tobacco pipe. Because in South Carolina, whenever you went into a smoke shop, it'd be like we don't use the b word here. Yeah, and it's like you had to say a water pipe. Yeah, we I would got like a water pipe. We, we got thrown out. The guy was like, "Hey, when you come back here, don't use that word again." <laughs> oh and my, my friend God. was like, "Do you mean bong?" <laughs> <laughs> Bongity bongity bong bong bong. <laughs> it's like guys walking by. Hey, have you seen the bong store? <laughs> oh man. Would, it, right. would they get in trouble if they were called the bong store? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's just it was just the name of drug back. It's just the name of their thing. What if what if they called it the bongo store, but then they made it seem like the O fell off? <laughs> there you yeah. go. Oh, that's really clever. We're, we're, we're getting it fixed right now. Yeah. It just says bong. <laughs> no! Now we owe them money! Oh, uh, fuck! Yes, 50, 50 bucks! Hey, dude. Dan, guess what? I can do business, too. That's a net gain of $100. But I'm Mr. Business. No, you're dirty, dude. Oh, my God. If you're- if we're the video game boy and Mr. Business, <laughs> I- Please, please let that catch on. They- they need each other to survive. Mr. Business and the video like game Like a boy. 20s radio show. <laughs> it's the video game boy and Mr. Business. What the hell are video? games. Mr. Business. I just bought that. Property Shit. Ryan. Oh my goodness, Matt. Another episode of the Super Mega Cast is episode 110, and I'm going to start off with a nice little uh, intake of the vape. You're gonna... and, then, and then you can introduce whatever whatever you want to introduce. You're going to vape? I'm actually thinking of legitimately getting one. I'm getting tired. I'm getting really sick of smoking. Like, it's... Dude, you should. Like this one in particular is really It's nice. it, it was cheap, too. Well, yeah, people, people are. We're gonna lose all of our subscribers because we're just, we just look like losers with with vapes now. Well, I need to legitimately stop smoking. So I, I, I can I'm do the loser. You're not. You're not a loser because <laughs> you've been smoking for years, so you're not a loser. <laughs> I've been I'm smoking a, since I was 18. I am a straight up loser for just straight for vaping for, for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> just like I'm gonna start vaping. You know, it's like I'm a dumbass. Like, but I mean, when when you first came out here, we we had a huge hookah phase. God, we did. We smoked that. We smoked every that thing night. Like, Remember, it was so bad it, it, for us. It would be a it would be a thing where was it you or Daniel who came up with? Are we firing up the hook? That was me. That was let's, you. Let's fire up the hook, boys. And then we just all three just sit in our apartment, like order a shit ton of food, and like I don't know what we, we would just watch. watch Netflix and then just <laughs> smoke the hookah. God damn! Could, think about how bad that shit was for us. I know. Okay, apparently like one hour of hookah is like sixty cigarettes. So hey, we, it was good while we were doing it. We were just like. Oh. I remember one night you, I, uh, you, you were getting into it. I fucking too. I would suck the shit out of that hookah. Oh yeah. I, I uh God, I, I I took one massive rip off. I was like, guys, watch this. I'm gonna do a really big one. And this is before I realized that like too need, much nicotine doesn't feel good. And you need to be hydrated because yeah. it dehydrates you. And I just went for like ten seconds. And then I was like, 
oh and then i had to go lay down because like was I, one of those I, moments where it's yeah everything like i got like tunnel vision <laughs> and uh everything started going like like black and white like monochromatic <laughs> and i got up off the couch and i got like the little white flickers and sparkles all over my vision and i stumbled into daniel's bedroom and then i just like fell onto the bed face first <laughs> and i just laid there for like 30 minutes trying not to throw up it was bad nicotine is not fun guys it's uh, not fun at all especially when you're addicted to it i just uh, uh yeah High five, dude. We're both addicted to nicotine. Isn't that fucking sweet? I had yourself I, addicted because you got yourself a fucking jewel. I don't jewel anymore, though, guys. No, but that's how you got addicted to it. You just bought a jewel for no reason. I know. I well, I did it for the meme of it. And I fuck I fucked myself up. But at least I'm vaping. That's I mean, it's not the worst it could be. You know I, how I, I got into cigarettes? How'd you get into cigarettes? I got into cigarettes because it was advertised as like a small dose of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, oh, I want to smoke marijuana. Kind of, yeah, because in South Carolina, marijuana is just hard to like, I mean, it's not hard to come by, but it's not, there's, stores don't sell it. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. you can't say the word bong in a smoke shop, right? Right. There's, there's a certain stigma around it in South Carolina. So, I, I actually had weed before I had cigarettes, <gasps> and then someone offered me a cigarette and goes, it's like a mini high, dude. And I went, Pfft. and also when I got that buzz, I was like, whoa, it is like a mini high. That was the beginning. And that the was end. the beginning with the uh, Marlboro Skylines. Ooh. That was the beginning, <laughs> Menthol, dude. Menthol, man. Ryan, Ryan's first puff of a ciggy. I was like, ooh, that's minty. It actually tastes good, too. Because I hated the taste of, uh, like, pipes and stuff well, at the time that you smoked out of. Well, cigarettes taste disgusting. Well, not men well, menthol to me. Well, okay, it was better than, like, smoking out of a pipe. Because you know how pipes, like, just... Just tobacco tastes nasty. It's like... Well, uh, I was talking about more weed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's doesn't too. Yeah, it tastes really bad. I don't think there's anything you smoke that tastes good. It's just, like, a burnt, nasty... Ryan, I want to talk about something very serious. Um, Ebola. A little more serious than Ebola. Okay. Uh, it's very tragic, actually. Uh, rapper Lil Xan uh, was hospitalized because he overdosed on hot Cheetos. I've never heard Lil Xan. He, uh, you're not. Who is Lil Xan? He's a rapper. Uh, he's one of those. Uh, is it spelled like Xanax? Xan, like like Xanax. He. Oh, uh, is that why he named himself yep. Little Xan? Yep. Xanarchy. He, uh, he, he had to go to the hospital because he ate too many hot How Cheetos. How old is this kid? He looks pretty young. He was dating uh, Noah Cyrus, which is Miley Cyrus' younger sister. And it's, uh, oh man, let me he's see. A, he's a young kid, and he's like, <laughs> Xanax. Is, little, that like his, Xanax. is that his thing that he's just kind of... Well, uh, no, he quit Xanax, apparently. He's 22. Uh, oh, he's younger than me. He, uh, I think he um, quit Xanax after uh, Lil Peep died. So, uh, I mean, good for him. I mean, Xanax is a, it's a dangerous drug. So you should only take it if your doctor recommends it to you, and you should not take and it. And even then, be questionable and be like, is there anything else possibly, maybe, just in case? Yeah, careful with Xanax, guys, for real, because that's a... Uh, highly addictive. Highly addictive, and also, uh, it's pretty easy to uh, to to get very addicted, but also uh, you can overdose on it. And also... You can um, overdose on a lot of things. Not marijuana! No, yeah, that you, you actually could overdose on marijuana, but what, you'd have to smoke like... 2,000... 2,000 joints in like yeah. an hour? Something like that, bro. I know. I know what we're doing after the show tonight. What? We're gonna try to overdose on marijuana. We're gonna smoke two thousand joints. Okay. Are you down? Yeah. We're gonna. It's gonna be one of those. You know those videos where the guys like break the like the <laughs> coconuts and they're like all lined up on a table and they just walk down and break the coconuts. It's gonna be. A it's like that, but it's just a bunch of joints down like half a mile of table and we just. Dude, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how I feel about a, a floor covered in roaches. Oh, I see what you're saying, man. Because <laughs> roaches is the uh, the the burnt end of a joint. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the bug for a second. I was like, ew, right? Ew, that's what I was doing. I fucking hate roaches, dude. Like I, I talked about do. this before, but like honestly, it, it, they're one of the few things on this planet that like I hate hate the most. Okay, why that, do you hate them so much? Roaches, they scare me. I don't even. They do. <laughs> that's why I'm scared so of them. Simple. They scare me. I'm terrible. Like I don't. I don't even, like them either. I kill them. I don't know do why. Do you I'm, save them or do you kill them? <laughs> I know some people are like, you gotta save them and put them outside. It's like, no, so they can lay more eggs around my house and breed more. Put eggs into my carpet? No, I'm, 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 I'm eradicating them. <laughs> every time I come, home, like not every time, but like every other time I come home from vacation, there's at least one roach I find somewhere in my house. Just dead. And it's dead because like I'm not leaving food out while I'm gone and shit. <laughs> so it's just like it's just like, well, I came in here for no reason. I'm Fuck. dead now. Lesson to all bugs, don't come into my place, because you won't find any food, unless you know how to open a refrigerator door. Okay, yeah, so... You gotta hit him, you hit his, uh... 
Boing! Got him. Got him. Oh, no. I think he does take several hits. Several hits of the blunt. I just can't get enough blunts, wow, man. SpongeBob, you're really good at that. Uh, Greg Kinnear getting his cock sucked by SpongeBob. I'll take the upper path later. Oh, whoa! Oh. I'm swinging my big shotgun oh, around. Oh, fuck. There they are. Oh, my God. I'm just gonna let... Oh, they mostly just have melee weapons. Really? Yeah. Stoop this stupid fat fuck doesn't know what he's doing. He's <sighs> probably smoking too much marijuana. Are they just taking their precious fucking time? Lewis? Lewis, what are you doing, man? God. Oh, boy. Resist the jockey's influence. Please, someone get him off. Resist his influence. He's saying, hey, smoke a little grass. Let's Don't be a safe. chicken. Everyone everyone cool's doing it. <laughs> just, just... <sighs> I gotta resist his influence. Come on, smoke a little pot. Just, come on. Come on. Everyone's doing it. Just suck my cock. Well... I mean... Would you smoke? There's weed! What the what fuck the, is what's happening? Going on? Oh, it's because I was in a rainstorm. Oh, cool. I rolled through a little weather. Oh, come on, three minutes, Matt. Don't don't lose it at the last. Oh, I, I got it, dude. I think I got it from here. Are you sure? Yeah. Two minutes. Look, as long as I can just find some big shit to roll up. <laughs> like a big fat blunt. <laughs> Matt. Sorry, I'm I'm going. I'm going. Y'all aren't too happy in the comments about me dueling. Fuck. Oh, I was supposed to go in there. Mm. Yeah. Here's what I'll say. Um. I, I, I completely respect the unhappiness about me drooling, and I don't want anyone to drool, especially if you're underage, because I do it, okay? Also, oh my god. Oh no. Oh. I'm saying things! Oh god! It's just that room. This is the- that was the glitched up room on the camera, remember? What I was saying is, please don't drool because the funny YouTube man does it. I am 22, I'm legally allowed to Whoa. be drooling. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry that explosion was more important I, than my uh, important what message about health. Yes, Matt, it is. And Wh what's where do going we go? on is more Wait, do you have the access card? We need the access card to get in that door outside, don't we? Where? Oh. Remember that door we couldn't get into? Do I have the access card? No. Uh, don't go in that water. That looks like that is hot water in my Oh, it's a hot tub. Never mind. This is a... Uh, Obviously, these are windows. Uh, I'm seeing things, Ryan. It should be up here somewhere. Ryan, I'm seeing things. What what kind of weed is this, man? Whoa! Over a million. Three. 256 to people. How many how many colors did they actually have in this game? Skip it out of the Google for one. I really hope I just made somebody think they started having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got 420 for winning. <laughs> Where's my fucking weed? Shit! I want to come here. Where's my this weed? Place. Oh man, I can kill for some some Chinese takeout right now. Really? Oh, I love the. That sounds I good, love right? the pork fried rice. Oh man, I got home from like the classic airport. Classic Chinese takeout pork fried rice. It's delicious. I got home from the airport last night when we came back from tour, and you know what I did, bro? What? Smoked a fat ass blunt, nice. ordered some Thai food. Nice. It was so good. But I went to bed. So at, cool. I went to bed at like nine thirty. <gasps> he knocked his glasses off. That's Wait, mean. his glasses. <laughs> his glasses are, so are back on. <laughs> oh fuck! No 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 no! I got this, bro. Okay. Watch this shit. Ready? Oh shit! Don't worry, just a few more hits. A few more hits of the joint. You know what I'm saying? Do you I, have a joint with you right now? Uh yeah, dude. I got tons of joints. I'm always carrying a joint on me. These guys went to Area 51 and found a Mewtwo in Pokemon Go. Ooh. These guys went to Area 51, but uh, we did it too. <laughs> <laughs> Go get that Pokeball! I don't want you it! You missed a fucking Pokeball. It's not even a Pokeball. It's not even a Pokeball. It, it, that's, you keep items in Pokeballs. It's a Podeon. It's a what? Podeon. Uh, no, it's Tim44. What is Tim Podeon from? Is that what, was that from the South Park episode? Podeon? Yeah. Podeon. Because you keep saying Podeon. Podeon is just how Potion looks spelled Thunder out. Thunderwave oh. Sting. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's Bubble bean. What's a nugget? A nugget. It's a oh. nug. What is a nugget? You sell it. It's a dank nug of weed. No, it's a gold <laughs> nugget. Really? Yeah, it's what I call them too. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. This place is wacky. You know what's weird? I've been watching everything going on the screen for the past 30 minutes and I haven't registered any of it. Yeah. I have not been paying attention. It's like, <laughs> it's like Bubsy 3D. It's very trippy. Hey, Ding Dong, this is Bubsy 3D. It's like I just smoked okay. a fat joint. <laughs> <laughs> what were they on, weed? <laughs> you okay? 
Say excuse me. Excuse me. I haven't had anything to eat today. I had some soda to drink though. Some of that soda that we have in the fridge. That sounds that sounds like if I were you, I would just crash. Like yeah. nothing in my system but just soda. Soda, cigarettes, and weed. That that that's that sounds like the most like the perfect combination to make me crash into like a five hour nap. But I'm still going. Look at me. I probably ate a bunch of garbage. No, I had some tacos yesterday. I'm hey, actually hey, pretty fine. sleepy right now. I, I legitimately right now could go take a nap. You if, could? I could easily, yeah. See, like, I, I feel like I need to eat something. If you were to... I could order McDonald's right now. Eat something healthier, bro. McDonald's is so bad. God, what am I going to order that's healthy right now? There's a million... They do, bro. It, Ryan, it's it's only 5 p.m. And Uber Eats for LA you can order a million different things. <sighs> okay, let's look. Let's 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 figure out what I can eat because I am... I am. You haven't had anything today, have you? I, I had... I made myself some mac and cheese earlier. Ah. If I could, like, if you left the room right now and I had a pillow, I could easily take a nap right now. Like, I could probably be fully asleep within 10 minutes from right now. Well, we got a podcast to record, bub. But I, I could yeah, technically do that. And your watch is still going off. No. <sighs> Can't put that shit on silent, can you? I'm trying to figure out how. Oh, yeah, I think, wait, I think I know how. Hold on. Give me a hot fucking second. Are you sure I shouldn't just order some McDonald's? Dude? I'm positive because then you're going to hate yourself after you I'm eat not. it. not. It's delicious. Of course, it's not the taste. It's the it's the content. Yeah. What Am I going <sighs> to? McDonald's is tricking you. I don't know what to get. Popeyes? That's even, that's probably even worse. I could get some Hawaiian barbecue. Dude, you should start. <laughs> dude, no more, no more fast food, man. You got to get those, that restaurant, that restaurant shit delivered. It's expensive though. Yeah, but you got you got the you got that podcast money. You're right, dude. I'll just order from restaurants for the rest of my life. I'll never go to one ever again. No, who who needs to go to one when you can get it like delivered to you an hour later cold? You know? Yeah. Fuck. Much better. Why is weed cringy? Is it because it's mostly used as like I smoke weed? Yeah, it's like people uh try to look cool with it. But like I don't over, know, there's just something over, about it that just seems cringy. But I like can't overall, like it's I can't even say it's like I like weed, dude. Like there's no, no it way to super cringy. there's no way to talk about it without it being cringy. It's just a cringy thing, I guess. I guess the culture around it and everything. But like most people smoke it. No. <laughs> Is that a fact, Ryan? Most people smoke weed. Get it's up, a good man. fact for you. Matt, you know I always have to do this. Do high? Very high. Wait, do you hear something? What? Like an earthquake? No, I was reading the dialogue, Ryan. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, man, I haven't felt an earthquake yet. You've lived here longer than me, and I felt two... I felt one earthquake. You were out of town the one time there was an earthquake. No, I'm sorry. There was another earthquake that was... Uh, you could feel it where we live, but it was... Uh, I was at Ross's house, which is uh, was out of the earthquake zone. Because it's on bedrock. <laughs> Call me Mr. Flintstone, I can make your bedrock. Bed Those things are like little- Is that uh, what Jacob Sartorius dances to on Musical.ly? <laughs> and he whips and nanas? <laughs> Jacob Sartorius, man, he hooked me up with some good weed. <laughs> man, my boy Jacob Sartorius got that good nug, you, you know, know what I'm saying? He's got that good kush. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah, Yo, man, he got that good good. Yeah, yeah, he got that good 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 Y'all, dude, at VidCon, me and Jacob Sartorius, we were twisting that perp. Holy shit, man. He, he, you got he, that perp? He was able to get lean. I was surprised he was able to get lean, and it fucked me up. But we killed this dude. We got three more uh, fucking moons. Nice, dude. <laughs> Wouldn't it be epic if it was weed? <laughs> Yay, we just got a moon, Matt. Sorry, man. I was coughing because I'm still sick. Well, too Sorry. sad. Yeah. Go tell dad. Or whatever it was. So bad. Too mad, so sad, don't try that. I don't know. No, I want you to get this. <laughs> so sad. Wait, too keep bad, so sad, don't go tell dad. Close, keep trying. Too bad, so sad, don't tell dad. Nope. Too bad. <laughs> too bad. Yeah. So sad. Yes. <laughs> go home, tell dad. Yeah! Okay, okay, I did it. Put some confetti on the screen for yourself. <laughs> go on YouTube and search confetti on black. And then put that video over it and no, put the I'll just layer search up confetti screen. green screen. Well, confetti on black, so I can ultra key it out. Okay, all right. Confetti then... on black will look too good. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I need at least a 240p video. <laughs>
The only reason you guys are doing anything in this game is because I'm telling you. Yeah. I need to stop. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, then fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you guys bowl over stuff and let the comments be like, Dude, it's just stupid. They didn't even realize. Don't offer three coins. I'm trying to focus on this game and you're hurting my feelings. It's Dude, really I'm, distracting. I'm just trying to give you a fair game, you know? Just trying to it make it easy like for you, you guys. You know, Aaron, you sound like you sound like the type of guy to swindle my friend Ryan out of five million dollars. What? Yeah, I know about five that. Five million big ones. That never happened. You can keep saying that, but uh... I don't even have five million dollars. Oh, really, Aaron? Y yes. Yeah. My I, very really. I would love to have five. If million I had five million dollars, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Same, dude. I'd be in Maui, drinking, oh. a, drinking a mai tai. Dude, drinking a, drinking mai a butterfly, which is a mai tai and a pina colada combined. Fuck, that sounds delicious. Dude, delicious. I mean, let's be frank. That shit's good. <laughs> that shit good. <laughs> that shit good. <laughs> Thank God for my reefer, man. <laughs> <laughs> this shit good. I love that video. It's called, uh, Man Cries After Smoking Best Weed Ever. <laughs> That's incredible. It's so good. Like video rules. Bro. Hey, Just bros. Don't try. Don't try? Yeah. Why would I not try? I don't know. Why would you tell me not to try, dude? Because maybe it... Maybe it ain't worth it's it. It's really disrespectful. I'm like, sorry. discouraging someone from trying is one of the worst things you can do, dude. Ooh, 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 ooh. What if they're trying to kill themselves? Well, don't put that situation on me. That's that's pretty bad, but don't okay, don't try. That's the one time you shouldn't try. And or if you're trying to kill somebody else, don't try that. Or drugs. Don't try drugs. Unless they're offered to you for free. Yeah. In that case, it ain't nothing wrong with that, because drugs are expensive, and it's, if someone offers you drugs for free, it's very polite of them. Also, what am I supposed to do here, bro? Just go down that pipe, probably, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah, that's... Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like this new strain of, of Kush, and, like, you just eat it. Yeah. You get, like, really fucked up. I get this new strain of Kush. Bro, I it's smoked called, weed last night. It's called bucket filled with toenails. <laughs> I got this new strain of weed. It's called mother's milk. I feel like that's a strain. Mother's, mother's milk. milk. I'd smoke that. Dude, I'd pack my pipe milk. and smoke it. Uh, nothing like waking up with mother's milk. <laughs> mother's milk OG. <laughs> mother's milk Hey, if OG. you're going by the dispensary, can you get me a, an eighth of mother's milk OG? Thanks. How much for an eighth? Uh, 60 bucks. Oh, okay. This sure does feel awfully This familiar. shit sure does guys, feel awfully. Yeah. We Just got like a confession before. to make. What? Guys, this is getting It's time we come clean. Minute. Super Mega I hope I'm wrong. has not but made its, family may need me. its fortune 500 fortune from ad revenue or merch. It was solely in Ryan and I uh, selling overpriced weed to high schoolers. They, they don't understand I didn't think that this was the time or place to fucking Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah Titan, no! <gasps> Wouldn't that just change it up completely? Dude, what the, what the fuck? I'm sorry, this is What, just... you've never smoked a little pot before, Ryan? <laughs> Where are these babies? Ryan, do you know I've never smoked a little pot? You smoked- you I've smoked a lot of pot, pot dude! Whoa! This whole oh. game's a fucking fever dream. Yeah, it's it's giving me a... Uh... Feels bad, man. Hmm. Although I would love to be playing this at my place, not having to stem Oh, uh, is it because I'm here? Is that why? You just said you'd love to play this without me, essentially, is what you were saying. I'm just... This, this seems more like a game where it's like, oh, I'm just gonna... Uh, pay attention to playing it on my own and... Listen to a podcast while playing it, and I'd still skip yeah, but the story. Wouldn't you listen to Super Mega Cast while playing it? No. Ah, uh, if I was yes, yes, and I'd go catch up on episodes that are on Spotify right now. Yeah. Oh, he's he's crying. What's he crying about? <gasps> oh, jeez, fuck! That kid's grabbing his crotch and laughing, dude. When I do that every time I laugh, grab my crotch, stroke and toke, dude. <laughs> dude, we should do that tonight. Let's stroke and toke. Okay. Fucking Nessie ass bitch. We still got two of those. Nope. We just, I just donated these two today. Oh, yeah. So now we just need the head. We need the, 
T-Rex body, a pato. We need the rest of the pato. And I need a little pato uh, in some weed. fat, in a fat rolling weed, paper weed, right weed, now. Weed, 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 weed. I can fucking smoke a fat fucking blunt. Smoke a fat Dude, fucking cock. you want to some fucking weed? What? They've really gone downhill. <laughs> Super Mega's just not what it used to be. <laughs> All they ever talk about is sucking dicks and smoking <laughs> weed. They used to have intellectual discussion. <laughs> yeah. About, like how PC culture was going too far. Or about how we won in Vietnam. Now they just talk about smoking joints and sticking things down their dicks. We get it, guys. You have penises. A lot of us don't. I just want more relatable talk. Talk about shoving it up a pussy, too. You know what? Let's have more relatable talk. Ready? Yeah. Um... So I was on that internet the other day. What did you look- did you find anything funny on the internet recently? Mm. Yes, I did. What did you find? It was a... It was a video. It was titled... Slavic man gets run over by a bulldozer. Very funny. And it was. Was it funny? Yeah, it was great. Oh, dude, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kind of low on groceries right now. My watch beeped. That was loud. It was. I don't know how to stop it. I was messing with my watch one day by accident, and I turned on the beeps, and I can't turn it. It's 4 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, August 29th. Can you believe it? I it's can't believe it. I can't believe it's 4 p.m. You know it's in 20 minutes, right, Ryan? Oh, <laughs> yep. 420. <laughs> Fucking 420, dude. Am I right? It's so fucking sick. Just add the, just add the sound effect. Like as if we high five. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's, let's show them what's bot. What's bot? Let's show let's them show what's, what's boss, dude. Okay, yeah, look, he's those little robot dogs. Gotcha. Oh, I like that. Where's oh, he and going? he can fly away with his sombrero. Oh, you fuck. You can blow Watch him up. This. Do this. Chain reaction. Ready? Bye-bye. Good night. Nice. Listen. No, but I didn't get him. Oh okay. my god, Come he swings here. fast, man. There okay, he's so done. He takes three hits. Just like me, dude. I take three hits and I'm done. <laughs> of, uh... Marijuana? Uh, crack. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Honestly, yeah. three hits of crack and... I'm done. I'm, I'm done. So Patrick can be here. Yeah, Patrick is gonna be here. Oh, great, we got the laser ones, too. What's my horoscope for the day as just a Gemini? Um... Let me, um, you will smoke cigarettes and weed after work, and then watch Netflix and play video games until 4 a.m. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. I pooed. Uh, that smells. Well, thank you, Ryan. Um, <laughs> I predict that I will shart, and then it would stink the whole place up. Okay, January 9th, twenty nineteen. Here's your uh, Gemini horoscope. Emotions that run very deep should bring you a lot of satisfaction today, Gemini. Relationships of all kinds could also be especially promising. A romantic relationship may be consummated, revitalized, or moved to the next level of commitment. Today? Yeah. Close friendships might become closer because of your mutual interests. I feel like you and I get closer every day. Of course. Happiness and satisfaction should reign in the home today. So when you get home, you're going to have a good time. Pretty accurate. Scary. Let me look at my Aquarius horoscope uh -oh. for today. Matt's looking at his Aquarius horoscope. Okay, my daily Aquarius horoscope. January 9th, 2019. Today you might have insights as to how to advance your career. These could come your way through dreams, sudden revelations, or perhaps visions. Don't hesitate to put them into action simply because of the unorthodox way they come to you, Aquarius. Some of the most progressive and successful ideas have come because the inventor had a vivid dream. Write down your insights and go for it. I was writing ideas in my notebook today that I was having. Ryan, I think we could safely say that these uh, horoscopes might not be all that bullshit. Right, I'm gonna live my life by them, and if it says I'm gonna have a bad day, I will preemptively prepare myself to have a bad day. And then day. just be in a bad mood all day because you're expecting it. Even though the day could have been wonderful if you just didn't read that horoscope. I think the way horoscopes work is Do they try to be positive. Not always, but they're so vague that I feel like anybody could apply it to themselves. Like a fortune cookie. Exactly. You will make a new friend today, and it's like, oh, I made a new friend in myself. See. Exactly. Oh. I think those things like fortune cookies. That and wasn't an Asian. Yeah, that was thing. not an Asian. That thing. was just me going, oh. I know how. I just wanted the. Okay, racist. Um, But like, it's just, they're so vague that it's like so easy just to. You can find a way if you want to to make it fit to yourself. Yeah. You know? Like, I could apply yours to me, and you can probably apply 
mind of yours. But overall, horoscopes are 100% science, and we should live our lives by them. <laughs> yep. What are you doing? I burped, and I just <laughs> don't want you guys to cigarettes? smell it. Aaron smokes while he records. Can I like? Can I? <laughs> Aaron, we started this whole bit that like, you like the office just filled with like all your bongs and like you smoke when you're recording. <laughs> On a yeah. podcast? Yeah, and a lot of people are like, why does does Aaron really have that many bongs? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grubs, everybody. Whoa. Starring Super Mega Thank and you also you the Game Grubs. Yeah, starring Super um, Mega and featuring the Game Grubs. Before we <laughs> before we start, Aaron, can I? Can I light one up in here? Is that yeah, allowed? you can use one of my many bongs that are in this room. <laughs> oh, I just meant a cigarette. Oh, oh yeah. well, you can you can yeah. empty yeah. out the, the, we'll the tobacco of a cigarette into a bong and smoke it like that. There you go. Oh, yeah. does anyone have a lighter in here? Uh, nope. Sorry. Yeah. Shit. Back before oh, well. uh, back before weed was so legalized he around here, that's how you used to say it. You 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 could only go into the bong store and say uh, that you wanted a t you were going to use it for tobacco purposes. No, because in I like a tobacco pipe. Because in South Carolina, whenever you went into a smoke shop, it'd be like we don't use the b word here. Yeah, and it's like you had to say a water pipe. Yeah, we I would got like a water pipe. We, we got thrown out. The guy was like, "Hey, when you come back here, don't use that word again." <laughs> oh and my, my friend God. was like, "Do you mean <laughs> bong?" <laughs> Bongity bongity bong bong bong. <laughs> it's like guys walking by. Hey, have you seen the bong store? <laughs> oh man. Would, it, right. would they get in trouble if they were called the bong store? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's just it's just the name of drug back. It's just the name of their thing. What if what if they called it the bongo store, but then they made it seem like the O fell off? <laughs> there you yeah. go. Oh, that's really clever. We're, we're, we're getting it fixed right now. Yeah. It just says bong. <laughs> no! Now we owe them money! Oh, uh, fuck! Yes, 50, 50 bucks! Dude. Hey, Dan, guess what? I can do business, too. That's a net gain of $100. But I'm Mr. Business. No, you're dirty, Dan. Oh, my God. If you're- if we're the video game boy and Mr. Business, <laughs> I- Please, please let that catch on. They, they need each other to survive. Mr. Business and the video like game Like a boy. 20s radio show. <laughs> it's the video game boy and Mr. Business. What the hell are video? Games, Mr. Business. I just bought that property. Shit. Right now. Good, good. It's worth it. Um, we need the ogre's den. No, you don't. It's it's, <laughs> it's dirty Daniel and yeah, we do. Errands. We need it for our fucking squ spooky then, swamp. Then why don't you cry reasons. and pay us more money? We will. Good. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you did not eat your whole Nashville chicken sandwich. It was spicy as fuck. I didn't expect it to be that spicy. You saw me. I was. I was. I had to put it in the fridge. I'm going to finish it. That bowl that I ordered was not as filling as I thought it would be. I'm still hungry. It was like, I checked the calorie count app thing, and it was like 380 calories, but I didn't eat like a third of it. How do I stimulate my appetite? I'm just never hungry. And when I do get hungry, I'll get hungry, like actually hungry, like Smoke maybe some weed. once a day. That's the thing is it's like, yeah, I, I, could, I could probably use marijuana to help stimulate my appetite, but then... That brings me back to the problem where I'll be tired because when ah. I use marijuana, I get tired. So it's like I want to eat so I have energy, but I don't have an appetite. So I use marijuana to stimulate my appetite, but then I'll be tired because I smoked marijuana or ate marijuana. Listen, Matt, there's no perfect way to go about something. Every every option, there's a give and take. You I'm have to decide what you have to put up with. I might as well start smoking the chronic more. <laughs> Actually, speaking of that, I uh, – I smoke every day, my boy. Smoke weed every, every day. day. <laughs> I uh helps me uh helps me get to bed at night. Helps me uh kind of sometimes it gears me up for recording. I don't I don't really smoke that much before recording though. Like it's very rare. Um, I don't know. And uh and it and it and it and it and it's just ooh, makes me feel all relaxed at night. I uh because I'm so anxious and and stiff most yeah. of the time. It gets rid of the erection that lasts longer than four hours. No, it doesn't help with that. No, I um. Speaking of that, You're stupid. N shut shut the fuck up, man. I was at a restaurant the other night, and they had a fried like a tempura hemp leaf, so mm -hmm. pretty much like a marijuana leaf. Yeah, tempura, where you just ate you ate it just just you ate the leaf, and I tried it, and it was incredible. It was all crunchy. It was crunchy. It was buttery. It tasted kind of like weed, but it, it was really good. Well, hemp is not weed. It's the male version of the same plant. Marijuana is that female. Marijuana is the so guys. Next time you're smoking some Kush, you're smoking a you're smoking a woman. Marijuana is a woman, while hemp is a man. You know, hemp hemp used for that for that strong fiber. You know, yeah. Shoes are made out of hemp. Met, there's Clothes, a lot of medicine, paper, paper. It's, it really is kind of like a miracle plant. Honestly, nah. just that, that plant in general. It's a gateway drug to meth, Matt. 
Hemp? Yeah, I was smoking some <laughs> hemp last week. <laughs> yeah. I, oh my god. So I took a bunch of I took a bunch of hemp. I I I I I put it in a big glass cylindrical tube. Set it on fire and just put my face over the top of that tube and boy oh boy I was coughing my eyes do my eyes were so red after that I'll tell you what ooh that hemp that that hemp you had at your place last night Matt was some good hemp I did I I I, been, I did a lot of hemp last week you want to smoke hemp no why dude because it's useless to smoke hemp <laughs> <laughs> what next you're gonna tell me you don't want to smoke crack with me anymore. I would never, I would never give up an opportunity to smoke crack with my brother, Matthew. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Give up cigarettes. Give up bad eating. Ooh, I don't know. Don't oh give God. up crack. Oh, fuck. I hate smoking cigarettes. I'm controlled by it, but I love it. I no. love it at the same you gotta time. You got to stop, dude. I know I got to stop. I know I have to. It's just aggravating. And the point of no return. It's just one of, it's just so, it's just one of those comfort things. It just makes, it's just like. It's an addiction, yeah. There's like, okay, here's. The problem with it is that, one, it's an addiction, yes. Two, I have a lot of just kind of like emo- like odd, odd emotional attachment to it. Because Daniel and I back in South Carolina would like, he'd hit me up late at night randomly, almost like whatever, and be like, hey, let's go for a drive and smoke. And we just talk and smoke and, you know, it's just how, how I socialize with people a lot of the time too. So it's just it's just hard to to kick that habit, man. I know, but there's a lot there you. that's nostalgic. There's a lot there that's just chemically fucked to make me crave it. It's 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 a whirlwind of emotion for me when it comes to trying to quit cigarettes. I'm trying to I'm trying to man. I I I, I tr- like I the past two mornings usually I'll wake up and I'll have a cigarette and come to the office. Past two mornings I haven't had a cigarette, but good. I do smoke a good bit at night, and that's night because I'm getting hungry and. I'll smoke because I'm like, ah, let me let me stave off that appetite, you know? Yeah, I feel that. Just get, like, nicotine patches or something. God, no. No patches? No patches. Why not? I don't know. I haven't tried those patches. Maybe I should try patches. You should, dude. So you can, like, just anything to get you off cigarettes because you're, you're, hit, you're hitting the point where it's like, lungs aren't going to heal. Oh, my, my lungs are definitely summit gray. Probably pretty gray at this point. I'm smoking a... Smoking a lot since yeah, a lot of years. I've been smoking since eighteen. And it's gonna make it's gonna make exercise a lot harder too. You know, plus you'll feel better. Cause what I noticed was when I when I would uh when I was like heavily addicted to juuling, when I would stop, I'd feel a lot better. Anxiety so. wise, my anxiety was a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> you being the best person in the world at all? Do you think that's it? Yeah, I think so. Because we can get, buy one more, but nah, I just want some. Yeah, it's getting dangerous out there. You it's, know, yeah, it's getting scary. Some pocket change. It's like kind of tied now, and I don't know how that happened because we were getting smoked for a long time. Uh, it's getting smoked like a fat joint of marijuana. It's the fucking luck of the draw, Aww. dude. Luck of the draw. I like yeah. fuck of the draw, dude. That was funny. <laughs> let's let's just let's just stop the show. Let's stop let's for just a second. Acknowledge. Everyone, hold up. That was funny. That was some funny shit. Leave a comment if that was funny. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. You gotta... How I, much? Can't, I can't empty this bowl. I can't do it either, man. You know one kind of bowl I can empty? <laughs> a weed? A weed bowl? <sighs> <sighs> smoking oh, weed, bro. Fuck, dude. I love weed. I love smoking weed! <laughs> I love weed so fucking much! God, I love My weed! Heart. Burn in hell, dude! We both failed that one. You did better than me, though. <laughs> See, I feel like it should still give you some. I know we tried it. so so long and got so far, and lost it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Grab the ingredients on the tray with the B button and add them to the oil. When they are fully cooked, grab with the B button and put them on the bottom tray. This is too many instructions for my small male brain, Ryan. I can't do this. Well, oh my stupid. god. Yeah, I lost two of mine. Hold on, Ryan. I have to hold on. All right, do, and do it's gonna think- blow back. Like the in, the Inuit tribe, like on, out on cave drawings, had their own form of Looney Tunes, like Tom and Jerry and that type of stuff. Like a like bunch they, of funny goofs. Yeah, I'm just sure they jokes. did, man. Well, like cavemen really did draw like some funny shit. I think, like just for fun, because they, you know, they they wanted to express their funny bone. They wanted to they wanted to milk that funny bone sometimes. <laughs> what? Then would he just like bring it? He'd draw a funny comic and like bring his friends in and be like, "Look at this." <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining like the classic Garfield pipe comic. On a, on a caveman's wall, where you John love goes, the pipe comic. Now, where can my pipe be? Garfield, 
And Garfield's Where have my pipe. pipe gone? Where have my pipe gone? <laughs> Where have my pipe gone? <laughs> Garfield! There's actually a sequel to that comic not many people know about, where he rips the pipe out of Garfield's mouth, and then it just cuts back, and the pipe is in Garfield's mouth again. What the fuck happened there? I think there? we had a little glitch. The camera laughed because uh, he pictured the sequel to the Garfield Pipe comic, and it was so funny. I'm serious, dude. Like, we, would you mind putting that on screen? Like, it makes no sense. Okay, here it, it is. It really doesn't make any sense. Here it is. Someone, I want someone to, like, break it down and explain it to me so I can understand it. Who is this guy? He looks cool. That's I a think, terrible man. I think, no. This is a good guy. His spirit animal, I think, is the owl, because look at his eyes. Definitely an owl. They help find the one who, uh... <sighs> Dude, did this to your village. Is he smoking, dude? Nah, 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 nah. Dude, oh, yeah, that's a bowl, weed? dude. Yo, Ryan, you know the only thing that's smoking... Sorry. Yeah? No, 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 just in case I am fighting another baboon, it'll <laughs> seek out the closest baboon with a snorkel mask. Does he, have a, he doesn't have a snorkel that mask. That looks like a snorkel mask. There's no fucking snorkel mask. The pink mask. thing! The pink thing on his eyes! It's covering his eyes! Oh, I was thinking of an actual snorkel for some reason. No. Yo, Ryan! Sorry, a scuba mask. Yo, dude, we should smoke weed out of a snorkel! I actually haven't seen that. Someone smoking Although weed I haven't out of a looked it up. Uh, here's pictures of someone smoking weed out of a snorkel. No, here's a picture of me smoking weed out of a snorkel. <laughs> Whoa, shit! Whoa! Rapid fire! Yes! They're just like, they're like, we don't. Oh, wow, okay, got That was really fucking easy all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this down. I'm gonna <laughs> sacrifice myself! Well. You sacrificed more than just yourself. You just sacrificed our your friendship, dignity? Ryan. Oh, oh, no, our friendship, oh, oh. okay? <gasps> yeah. I'm no longer friends with you. You well, con you artist. You try to hook it, huh? Watch me, dude. Big badass. <laughs> Watch me. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna stick it up. Oh! Yeah, Ryan. Watch me hook it. Little bitch. Come here. <laughs> I'm hooked. I'm hooked on phonics. Oh, and now I'm, what? And I'm hooked on chronic. <laughs> See you later. Thanks a lot, McGee. Thanks a lot. We've both broken all our bones. <laughs> oh, I'm hooked on chronic. Oh. Why is no one calling? Damn, son! <laughs> this is some good blow! <laughs> oh, this shit, this blow's good! Where'd you get the blow from? That's. Ah, oh, daddy! That's weed. Mm. Daddy's sniffing the good blow! Son, that's weed. That's mm. marijuana. So I'm supposed to hang from this some I for think some you reason? swing from it. But wait, to where? To over, over here. there. Over there, you dumbass! That's such a far way to swing. Ready? Um. <laughs> oh, oops, oops, oops. Dude. Whoops. Dude. Oh, I love puzzles like this. I love the whole aesthetic of this area. Fucking yellow bars get me going, dude. Like them gold bars? That's another, no, no like yellow pipe like that. That's another aesthetic I love is like, di like construction Homer stuff. Homer lays some or yellow pipe. Homer does lay some yellow pipe. Yes, Homer Simpson? Yeah. Of the Simpsons? You know what video I watched the other day? What's that? The one we did with Frank Javsey years ago in 2015. Where we read Craigslist ads? No, 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 The Simpsons erotica. I love that video. Just because of how fucking... I want to re-upload that am, to Superman. I am high out of my fucking mind in that video. I know, you can just look at yourself and you're just like... I was out of it for that whole shit. Your eyes dude. are so red in it. <laughs> I know. It's a, that one was, I want to re-upload that to Super Mega. That one's really Daniel's weird. dad was watching it. I remember that. Yeah, he's right behind the count, uh, counter. Right behind the camera. <laughs> he's, he's watching it the whole time. You got to see that live. Oh no, Luigi. Hold on, maybe if I put this pot on... <laughs> Hold on. I might have to put some pot on a fat ass rolling paper and smoke it. Come on, pot. That's what I'll be saying, I'll say, come on, pot, <laughs> get in my lungs. <sighs> Wait. <sighs> Can you even pick it up? Ooh, what's that? Ow. What the hell? It was a banana. Okay, pot, get on there. When you say, when your weed is on the rolling paper. When, when, when you're... When that's got to be an alligator. Yeah. Now nice. what? Now what do we need? Welcome back, freaks. Uh, so we just went and talked to Tom Nook, and he he's gonna let us uh, choose a new roof color. Ooh. Ryan. Well, what should what should we go um, for? Can we look at other colors too? Let's look at all of them. <clears throat> How about one of these? Pale green, green, sky blue. Ooh. We got blue, purple, pink. Ooh. 
I like pink. I was thinking the same thing. Let's just do it. Let's do pink. Uh, and I hope then it's we, a nice pastel pink and not a very. It might be a real like in your face aggressive pink. Okay, well, that's one of the worst we'll colors, dude. I'm not talking about hot pink, but I'm talking about like aggressive pink. Yeah. Just like ugh, just gross. Um, I actually came because um, it's a nickname that I give your mom, the aggressive pink. I'm sure she appreciates that, Ryan. Why? Because her vagina, right? She's a very aggressive woman in the sack. Your old mom. <laughs> oh man, how has no one made a compilation yet? Of, like that's been like a running gag since the beginning of the channel, and no, none of you, none of you fuckers, have decided to sit down and take your precious free time, to hundreds dig, dig of hours, hundreds of hours of footage to make a compilation of two grown men. Talking about having sex with each other's mom. <laughs> do you mom. have do you have dude your mom jokes in their twenties? Yeah. Like really guys? That's not that's not a good enough use of your time. What are we even doing here then? What's the point of all this shit? <laughs> if we can't get fucking filthy, disgusting nerds. Y'all make a lot of game do our compilations. <laughs> why why ain't why aren't y'all making super mega compilations? Make them, upload them. I wanna see them. You see game grumps is even gets their own compilations made. Now they have other compilations made that they don't get made. Come on! Make some fucking super mega funny compilations. Super mega laughing fits, super mega uh your mom jokes, super mega I, I they got Matt Watson. Super mega super mega silence compilation, a compilation of all the silence in every episode. Ryan McGee, Super Mega Masturbation Stories compilation, Super Mega Weed Stories con guys, there's a lot. There's Super Mega Moments They Wish They Could Delete But Forgot About compilation. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mega Jokes That They Wish They Hadn't Made Two and a Half Years Later And They're Embarrassed By Now compilation. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna sell that shit, bro. Alright, watch this. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go fucking start, start up the holiday festivities, okay? Yes. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? I'm excited. Say? Do we get to light a big tree? Is um, there a big tree in town? Let's see. Let's Every see. town has to have a big tree. Uh, man, I'm so bothered by all the weeds, but it's because we skip time. So those I'm won't be never here bothered. <laughs> I'm never bothered by the weeds either. Who? <laughs> I love the lights in the trees. Me too. Using anyone in the Grumps office, whose characteristics, body parts, would you assemble to create the perfect human? Um, <laughs> Vernon. Vernon. Uh, I mean... I, we, you wouldn't have to combine him with anyone he's else. He's perfect already. Yeah, he's already perfect, so. Have you guys smoked weed? Have you guys smoked weed? <laughs> Look at the Jamaican flag. Jamaican flag is cool. I love a New Zealand man. Fla Jamaican, Jamaican flag, flag, flag flag. You type. Okay, Jamaica's got a really cool That's flag. That's a really nice That's a cool flag. flag. I love the colors in that. Dude, we could smoke weed to that flag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What if God smokes cannabis? What if he did? Dude, I bet he, he wouldn't be killing so many people and causing so many hurricanes. He'd just be chill. <laughs> yeah? That or what? I was going to see if you would fill in and say, like, balls or something. <laughs> but we passed the test. That's a key right there. Where? Right there. Why did my brain not <laughs> even see it? Like, I'm just, like, I me, thought you had seen it already. No, for me, it looked like a torch. Like, it just looked like a torch. See, to that's me. that they're tricking you there. Oh, no, the light's gray. Oh, ow! Oh, I need to go in the center. Holy fuck. I've, look, I don't know why, like, I know I've played this part before, blah, 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 but, like, look, guys, I'm sorry. Well, usually when I'm I play a game at even home, more now. when I play a game at home practicing it, I'm even I've, practicing I've, I'm just usually, playing. Yeah, but, like, I'll forget things when I play it on Super Mega because a lot of the time it'll be late at night when I play the game and I'll have myself a little, a little, uh, beverage with it. So, and my memory's not the oh, greatest. I'll have more than a beverage. <laughs> I'll have a, a little chronic with it, maybe. Are you good at video games? Are you better at games after I, you've induced chronic or, or worse? I feel like I'm just better at games when there's no distraction. And chronic would be a distraction. No, I like, yeah, I'm definitely not as good when, I don't know. Let's Sometimes when it calms me down, it makes me better because I usually get very, like, jittery um, when playing, like, a multiplayer game because I'm like, oh, I I can't die. Blah, I'm blah. I can be good at games if I if it's sativa, but if it's like indica, then I I I'm just dumb. Like I'm like an even worse, more exaggerated version of myself. Alcohol, fuck that. I can't play video games on alcohol. I can have like a drink, but like if I get drunk while I'm playing a game, nope. I just get stupid. You guys watched our drunk 
Mario Kart series way back in the day. Ooh. And before you guys freak out, marijuana is fully legal in California. So, haha. -ha. So, we're, we're partaking in something that's recreationally legal. So why don't you go fuck yourself? Yeah, states that it's not legalized in. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like this. You want to boof after this? I would love to boof after this. Look at this. You know what boofing is? See, I thought it had something to do with marijuana. Well, boof is a term for, you know. So what's the uh, what are the kids using boof? Boofing is also days? a term for putting drugs up your anus, getting getting high via rectal insertion. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you see, don't I... get it on this one, I'm gonna go grab my coffee from the kitchen. And if I do, then you can't go get your coffee. Oh well, sorry, no coffee for Why'd you. Why'd you do that? You did that on purpose. See. All it took was a little motivation for your friend to not be as happy as he could be. Next thing you know, you're you're passing the game with flying colors, buddy. Dude, is someone blazing it up in here? <laughs> All right, just go to the one up. That one right there. Up. Yep. <laughs> Which angel sounded his trumpet? Was it Gabriel? <laughs> uh, fifth. The fifth. The fifth. Yes. Oh, okay. Dude. Don't mind if I do. Bro. Come on uh, up over here. <sighs> Dude. Wait, I got the key. You know how like... Wait. You know how like... Jesus died on a cross? Yeah, dude. <sighs> Does that mean Jesus... <laughs> Does that mean Jesus died with some wood <coughs> oh dude you know what I mean man but dude think about this yeah if if uh if they if they did him up at the gallows then Jesus would have been hung <laughs> oh dude oh shit look at this shit dude it's a platformer and then if they took him to a guillotine he they the citizens would have gotten some good head <laughs> They would have seen Jesus get head. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> and I'm very excited to take you to your colonoscopy. But basically, that's the update for this week's podcast is that and next week's podcast. We'll have an update uh, on my health. Well, that will be the post colonoscopy update. So guys, I love how it's like if it's really fu it's not going to be awful news because it's it's just going to it's knock on wood. Well, it, I guess either way, it could be bad news because if I had. Uh, Crohn's disease or colitis if if hopefully it would just be uh, acute colitis because oh, if I have any other cute. if I have any other form of colitis it is uh, a chronic uh, illness you know but, you know the only way to get rid of chronic illnesses smoke weed smoking chronic yeah dude you know? smoke a little chronic there's no way dude. Oh! And to, what, what, what's it say Suzoku ramen what did this weeaboo say to us um, can we go read it Matt and Ryan. Oh, wow. Wait, it's all the way. Oh, look at these. Where's... Finish papers, please. Um. Okay, voice message. You want to listen to the voice message yeah. from Fun Fuzzball? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. What's this going to be? The recipient of this message. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, good day, then. You, my good sir, have just won the internet. <laughs> oh, my lady. Okay, look at all these great messages you guys have sent us on our these shared Xbox account. We have it. Jesus Christ, I didn't know there was so many fucking messages. I like this one. <laughs> Ryan Are there from any Super more Mega. voice memos? Baby <laughs> needs spanking, nice. <laughs> I'm yeah. not thick. Um, good job at Fortnite, baby. Oh, yeah, because we used this account for the, the Fortnite video. Uh, well, where's the me where's the message we just got? What are you saying? Weed. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure you made their day. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Yes! Yes! I mean, although after we're done with these episodes, we will change the privacy settings, so this won't happen anymore. This is from Kaysville, Utah. Pull your weed on it. On these nuts. On what? These nuts. Th these nuts. Pull your weed on it. But I saw a movie with Ross. <gasps> uh, went over to his place. Uh, Rostifer O'Donovan? Yeah. And uh, 
we smoked up a little bit, and I'm glad we smoked up because we watched a movie called Paprika. Um, I I still can't remember the director's name. This is the first movie I've seen of his. Satoshi Ko. Something maybe yeah. Something like that. Yeah, he did Perfect Blue. Perfect Blue. I have not seen Paprika, but I've seen Perfect Blue, and it's fucking amazing. Paprika is a fucking trip. Real quick before you get into it, w- would you like to share? Because you you mentioned smoking up with Ross. Mm-hmm. Would you like to mention why that was so special? Oh. It was special because uh, I'm not going to say through who or how, but somehow Ross managed to get a joint that was given to someone who gave it to him. But the person who originally started off with this joint. Who rolled it themselves? Snoop Dogg. And it was their own home stuff. Yeah, I think. So, so yeah, that's what Ross said. So All I know is it's a you joint. You Snoop Dogg's, uh, one of Snoop Dogg's actual joints. Yeah. and it not, was... not like his brand, like his actual. And it was heavy. I have to say, oh, it, was, it was so. pretty heavy. I we didn't smoke at all. So. We smoked like a third of it. Just, you know. Wow. That, I mean, that would that would probably destroy me. Yeah. I, I have a very low tolerance for marijuana. When I when I smoke it, it it can just completely put me on my butt, on, yeah. on my on my little booty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yes. Uh, so I every time you know, like I stream. If anybody says anything about me in the lexicon of culture, uh, in like. A podcast, for instance, that day I find out immediately because did, everybody wait, starts talking about it. Did we did we say anything about you recently? So I was streaming and everyone's just like, what's up with the Snoop Dogg joint? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so did we out you, dude? No, it's fine. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> okay, it's totally yeah. fine. Um, I can tell that story if I, I because my yeah, friend doesn't yeah. mind. Bef- um, so my friend Sorry. Kara, who's also. But the, what, what was. Yeah. So you just someone in your stream just just came in and they're just they like they're talking about it. they right. They, yeah. I, I was just like, you guys are a bunch of narcs. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I yeah. had to, dude. No, it's a great story. I, I had to show, yeah. I had to, you know, yeah. show off if the you fact that I smoked one of the, Snoop Dogg's joints. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's joints. Snoop Dogg's joints. <laughs> Snoop Dogg <gasps> joints. Then you, 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 yeah. Snoop, 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 Snoop Dogg's getting fit, dude. Steve Jobs <laughs> joints. Damn. Um, so. I ran a mile. <laughs> <laughs> he jogged um, a mile. Jogged a mile. Yeah. So my friend Kara, who is the voice of um, Vanity in my cartoons. I was wondering who did the voices. I was like, are yeah, all yeah. Ross? No, it's not all me. It, you, the scratch, <laughs> all the, Ross? No, dude, the scratch audio is all me. I do this little voice like this for Samantha. <laughs> and for Vanity, I do this voice. And I do. And I all, couldn't tell. Were yeah. you Samantha? No, I'm neither. Okay, I couldn't tell. I was like, uh, are yeah. these both? I was, I was yeah. watching it with someone yesterday, and they were like, is Ross doing all the voices? No, no, no. <laughs> Originally, so. in the scratch audio, which I'll probably upload to my Patreon. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh patreon.com slash Robert Ninja. Um, it, I'm going to be uploading it, I swear. He posts um, more than us, so. No, I don't. I'll yeah, try post more. Um, so anyway, uh, the fucking uh, voices were originally me doing all the scratch of the characters before the actresses came in. So if you came to stream, people are like, are these the final voices? And I'm like, no. And they're like, we like them. And I'm like, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Please, please do something. Else. Um, sorry. Fuck the weed. Sorry, we're getting distracted. So Kara, uh, she does a lot of like modeling gigs and hosting gigs and whatnot. And what happened was she went to uh, fucking this big event that like I guess Snoop Dogg was a part of mm-hmm. uh, Lucid Sound which is like a headphone company I believe was the hosting this event where he's yes I think okay. so uh, and it she can, and the video went viral of like her going up to Wait, him was and, this at E3 uh, no it was just some like Madden tournament or something oh, okay. and yeah, she do you remember that like footage though where he, oh they, yeah yeah where he was like playing Madden and yeah, smoking a joint yeah, 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 yeah. I think so so uh, what happened was uh, Kara was uh, hosting that and <laughs> fucking um the video went viral because she walked up to him and said, because I guess he lost. And he said, like, how how do you feel? And he's like, man, how the fuck do you think I feel? We fucking lost. And he's like, just no chill. <laughs> just like, fucking shit. It sucks. I feel like shit. And it was, like, really funny. And it went viral. Uh, he was really nice, apparently. Like, off camera, he's fucking ah, hilarious. Nice. He's a super nice guy, guy, apparently. Um, he just, like, gave gave her some weed. And then uh, he's, she doesn't smoke. So she just gave it to me and my girlfriend. And... We were like, ah, yeah, all right. And then I just invited you over, you yeah. as well, but you can come. But oh my god, it was it was too much. And that's how Snoop Dogg. I don't know. I guess someone he someone who rolls it for him or something. Oh, but he it pays was, someone it was fifty thousand dollars like a month to roll what his weed. What the fuck? I, I, think um, I think I got the clip right here. So that was a tough loss. Um, how do you feel after that? How the fuck you think I feel? Don't ask no dumbass questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it all. I don't feel like shit right now. Yep. Can I real quick so can that's I point how. out something really weird? 
How the fuck you think <laughs> Snoop Dogg yeah. on Instagram has 39 million followers? Yeah, and he follows only 3,449 people. For some reason, back in the day, he followed Kids with Problems, our old YouTube channel. <laughs> really? On he just followed it one day. Out he of the still blue. follows. He still it follows day? it. Look, following Kids with Problems. How? Are you I don't know why he. How? He doesn't follow like a lot of people, mm. and we didn't even follow him. He Dude, just followed us. And I'm I, like, did he just see our videos? Was and that back us? before I like joined mm. on Kids? No, with no, problems? that's when you were part of it. It was okay. like right around the clown sketch uh, when he went and followed it, and I was like, did he just see our videos and like them? Like he was high and was like, ooh, follow it. Like I have no idea. Technically, we can message him. Actually, that is true. They could Marketing. have had the funny let's players that draw connections <laughs> between every simple fucking facet of their life. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> man, you guys missed out. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, dude, what is it? Too too bad. So sad. Go home. Tell dad. <laughs> you said you. <laughs> You and your cousin was this? Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, you and my, my cousin, when we were kids, we used to always get into my it. My favorite part about this story is that he would just be on a couch and you'd start slapping him really hard. Yeah, well, I was mean to my cousin. Like, <laughs> like, we were mean to each other. So I, I had a younger cousin, or I still do, but I, I, we're, we're, all, we're all cool now. We love each other. Yeah. But when we were kids, we were always fighting with each other. And um, I was pretty mean to him, and, and he would be really annoying to me. Okay. So like he'd be annoying and then I'd be mean in return. Yeah. Um, and I remember he he would just always be like, he'd be pissing me off and I'd be like, stop it. And he'd just be like, too bad. So sad. Go home. Tell dad. And I, and, and he'd do this like hmm. thing and it, it just like, it, it made my blood boil. Like with the eyes raised, just, well, okay. Yep, exactly like that. So I, sometimes I would just get him where I wanted him. I'd just slap the shit out of him a little bit. <laughs> um, How hard would you slap him? No, like I, I, I just like I, I, I get a pillow just, and I beat him with it. Would you like slap his face? Yeah, dude. Now that stings. Well, we were we were kids, so I wasn't. I'm not an abuser, everybody. Just to my one specific cousin. I I remember one time. I think he he kicked me right in the in the nuts. In the nuts. So I slapped him in the face really hard, and he fell back and hit a wall. And then he went downstairs and and he was crying and told his mom. And then I hear my mom go, Matthew. Wait, well, I thought he was supposed to go tell dad if he was so sad. Oh yeah. Well, he didn't, and he told his mom. So hmm. Couldn't even follow his own fucking advice. Exactly, but he's he's cool now. He's he's in college. He's a real he's a real cool young man. Okay, okay. If he's cool, then does he smoke weed? Probably. I don't know. Okay. Well, I need to see Snapchat proof. If he smokes weed, then he's cool. If he doesn't, then, then that's you're that's lying that's to the me. one factor that determines if someone's cool. <laughs> they smoke weed, <laughs> then they're cool with me. Hey guys, I met this I met this guy. He's really cool. He helps out the home. Wait, wait, wait. Does he smoke weed? Well, I I, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, I just... don't want. I don't want him hanging around if he doesn't smoke weed. Yeah, but he he has his own charity. Like he's really cool. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> charity. What what is the charity for, huh? Uh, it's, is it it's to help kids veterans. get weed? No, it's homeless veterans. To help them get weed. To help homeless veterans get weed. <laughs> then then I'm cool with that. That'd be a That's charity. Fine. Help homeless kids get weed. <laughs> homeless. You ever stepped on like a Lego? Because I know there's like the whole meme of stepping on Legos, but have you ever just like stepped on one and it just sends a shooting pain like up through your whole leg, through your spine and into your brain? Ever? Yeah. It hurts like shit, dude. We've kind of, our house isn't nice. We don't really care about our debt. There's weeds all over the town. We're not in a good place right now and our Animal Crossing character is not in a good place in life. Forgot this fucking thing does he the need dog's a, cat. Does he need to take a break and go fishing? He might need to. Can I skip one more day though to see the fossil? Yes. Or can do that next time. No, no, no. Skip, skip a day. Skip no, no, a day. No, 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 no. Stop. You're mocking me. I'm not mocking you. And see, slowly, I'll just keep pulling the weeds until we're a weed-free town. Weed is illegal here. You think they? And Animal Crossing Pocket Camp was the first time they ever mentioned like alluding to alcohol. What? Yeah. There's something called vacation juice, and when you drink it, uh, <laughs> like they that. get all happy and like. Ooh, I know like, a lot of the times in like kids stuff they'll ch switch up like alcohol for coffee because coffee is still like a mature drink like in the iron giant Ooh, dude why are you just smashing up your car it all you obviously can't go this way <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry that was my fault we we it's better to have tried than to never have tried that at is all. true do or do not, Ryan. There is no try. Mm -hmm. Yoda. Yes. Mm. Bro? Good boof this is. <laughs> <laughs> that got me, man. 
Short 350 you are. For your life, I cannot guarantee. <laughs> he's a drug lord. It's just Yoda as a weed dealer. <laughs> it sounded some like rich white kid. 80 for, 80 for a G? Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, man. I love those memes where it's like a picture of like a really rich white kid and it's a text where it's like, yo, 80 for 80 for an eighth? Sounds good, man. Thanks. <laughs> I have heard conflicting reports. What? When you're when you when you're grinding up marijuana, uh huh. Is there the stems have more THC or they have none? I don't know. Cause I, I've heard from people that the stems are the best part of it and then the stems are the worst. Like there's like nothing there. <sighs> I'm so, being uh, a tool. I did the same thing. Bro. Bro, come on, man. No seeds. I got a... I, I only bought marijuana once in South Carolina, and I got very ripped off. But my options were limited. Yeah, I mean, that's just how I paid it is. $50 for... 50 uh, 50 for For how much? I think for an eight. Bro. I love that people still try to, like, sell weed in California on the streets. Do they? Yeah, that's still a thing. Like, hey. So you want to buy some weed? It's like, no, dude, I'll go to the dispensary and for half the price get stuff that I know isn't laced with PCP. What happened? You. Oh, sorry. No, you... I was just looking at the audio waveforms. Got it. You want to do some PCP sometime with me? <sighs> what, are, what are the side effects? Superhuman strength. Ooh. Uh, you might go into public naked. Every it. time you see a video of someone like tweaking out in public and they're naked, it's Meth probably PCP. Or, or PCP. PCP makes people just rip their clothes off and then get superhuman strength. Picking some weeds, make our town look nice. Yo, I love talk Bud. To Leo. Bud. Sorry. I just, you know, Leo Lion. There probably is one named Leo. Oh, God, the camera movements. Does he sell weed? Yeah, he does actually. That's that's my favorite. He looks like he would, though, Bud with the Hawaiian some shirt. Bud? Oh my god. Oh, he's giving us a little, uh, little, ooh, a hat. Plain cap. Perfect. I'd Fuck like yeah. to put on a plain cap. I'd like to put on a plain cap. No. Nope. just gave me a safari cap. I'd like to put put this safari. cap on, no cap. Put it on. Mm, I don't like this hat, dude. If I'm being honest. Here, I know how to make it look better. That's like a give, Jontron give, give, give me, hat. Give me the controller. Close your eyes. Okay. Eyes is shut, bro. Ready? I'm gonna make yeah. it, I'm gonna make it all look better. Ooh, make it snazzy. All right, I got my eyes shut still, bro. Still, still keep them off. Keep them off? I mean, my eyes are turned off, dude. I have a friend that says turn on can like turn on the candle, turn off the candle. And I'm like, that's not a Doesn't thing. Doesn't that go better now? <laughs> we look, <laughs> we look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it though. Okay. <gasps> yes! Oh, can I, have you, have you, can I show you what the tank looks like? I want to actually put it in our room. Yeah. We'll, we'll give it to Blathers later. Uh, dude, Hold up. my plane's green, and this one's yellow. I- I don't know, I forget what mine is. Cause I'm a forgetful, dumb person. I've actually had really bad short-term memory lately, I don't know why, but... When I'll just be talking, I'll just forget what I'm saying, like, halfway through, and it's happening a lot lately. Weed'll do that. Watch this. Uh, my marijuana consumption has increased. Cause I'm such a epic stoner. Yo, get some King of the Hill shit up in there! Uh, Hank Hill. Yo, dude. Flash. King. Yeah. All right. Did I spell I mean, that right? That's not right, but Hank Hill smokes marijuana flash game vault. Hank Hill needs to support his addiction to marijuana. To do this, he must sell propane and then buy hemp and smoke it. Keep selling off propane to buy more hemp and remember to be constantly smoking. Remember, you got to be constantly smoking it. Okay, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> the background music. That's great. Sell propane. Oh, you know, no, no. Fuck. Oh, dude. So replay. You died. Let's do Play this. It again. Oh, toke. Yeah, you gotta toke it up. Your addiction level. You gotta Fuck. keep. Super plush new lawn. Oh God, no! An new lawn. Come on. <laughs> no, your addiction. No! No, wait. What's that say? My I Hank could never love you the way I love marijuana. <laughs> Hank Hill need pot so bad that he killed Peggy. <laughs> you loose. So you gotta sell propane. Toke up a little bit, and then I'm all out of hemp. So yeah, but what do those numbers represent? Like, this 105 something? What? Is that 100, like, buy hemp, 105, and then... No, that's $10. Oh. So see, I'm using all my money, and then I'm token up. So my addiction level is super high. So wait, can you toke up as much as you want? No, because I'm all out of hemp. So I sell propane, oh. which gets me money, which then I buy hemp with, and toke up. Ooh. Okay. I mean, that's how the world works. Do you unlock more stuff? 
I don't know. I'm just buying. I'm, I'm selling propane right now. Fuck. Are you Chinese or Japanese? You like pie? What is that chinning noise? This is wonderful. It's the best flash game I've ever played in my life. Well, this was a very interesting series of games, I would say. Yeah, that was a. Uh, this has zero comments. Bobby. Log in with Facebook. Carlos. <laughs> Continuous <laughs> That's his Facebook. That's his Facebook. Yeah, what if he Twitter. doesn't want his like? He doesn't Wait. want his aunt or okay. Yeah, what well, does his Twitter? Okay. <laughs> uh, Jackson. Yeah. I really enjoyed having you along, Super Mega, this year. We'll see what happens next year. Who knows what, what if you'll still be a part knows, of it? Every, man, anything, anything could happen. happen. It's crazy. Justin, you're editing. Is it blows my mind. I love it. I love how well it, it, it goes along with our content, and I love having you a part of the channel. Who knows what's gonna happen in a year? Who knows if you'll still be a part of it? It's crazy. Matt, uh I, I love working with you. It's it's been a it's been an honor, and I have a lot of fun with you because you're you're a really good friend to me sometimes. Uh <laughs> Who knows if you'll still be yeah, part of it? It's crazy. Yeah, like, like <laughs> I just hijacked and I'm just Super like, Mega. And I'm just like, did, who, who knows, you know, what happens in a year if you're still around with Super Mega. But it's, it's going to be crazy next year. It's going to be. subtly talk about just letting me go there? Who knows if in a year I'll still be around? Justin, that's Dude, not very podcast after, talk right there, buddy. Every, no, I'm just saying a lot. Every, no, after I'm, everything I've I'm I've just saying a lot can happen. Channel, I'm just saying things are crazy. All the late nights I've pulled. I'm just Justin, saying, we pulled late nights too. Don't think you're special. Um, you're the only one that pulls late nights editing Let's Play content, Justin? Now I am. Mm. Uh, we stay up late doing other things, Justin. Yeah, what? Smoking and token? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, in the God reefer? damn, Ryan! It's been a fucking great year with you, and it I can't wait for twenty two. Then we're going into a new day. I really do like this fucking group we have. I it's think great. it works perfectly. It's fucking fantastic. I love being a part. Thank you guys so much. Rest in peace, you're, Tucker. You're welcome, Jackson. Rest um, in peace, Don. Rest in peace, Don. Well, Don's <laughs> not gone yet. He's got a couple weeks left. He's, he's got a, he's got a few more thumbnails. Those to tonsil stones are not looking too good. But. Oh God, they're awful. But God, seriously, guys. I want to, as, as this decade ends, this is the last episode of Super Megacast of this fucking decade, the decade which we started this whole adventure, and I just want to fucking say to all of you listening, whether you're new, whether you're old, thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of this so far, and I think it goes for all of us when I say I can't wait to see uh, what comes in the next decade. It's going to be fucking crazy. Close. Happy New Year! And uh, we'll see everyone in the next year. Bye bye Bye-bye! Bye! Good job. Uh, <clears throat> soil. Okay, so we're making plants. Growing tomatoes. Not growing uh, some of that good green. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Dude, it's <laughs> <fish>. <laughs> <laughs> coughing. Oh, dude, I want to catch a coughing. I'm coughing because I smoke. I want. I want to catch a coughing and name it Armenia. <laughs> I don't know why I just want to. You don't know why? That's on my. That's on my no list. Re no reason why. <laughs> well, they, they all smoke. All smoke and hookah. hot. That is. They got that hookah. Yeah, they got that hookah. They got hookah and vapes. Dude, I. I. Armenia is one of the first names on my list. Is it? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. No, I don't want to change my Pokemon. I want to kill coffee. Ninja boy Lao. Isn't Lao the name of a? No, that's Khan. I'm thinking of the guy from King of the Hill. He's from Laos. Khan! <laughs> it sounds like I'm Khan! So are you Chinese or Japanese? Uh, originally from Laos, but raised in California. <laughs> so are you Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> Is that an actual good yeah. show? Is that when they like, first meet or whatever? Yeah, I think it's like so one of the first Chinese episodes we meet. Chinese or him. Japanese? He says he's from Laos, so he's like, so Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> such a brilliant show, dude. <laughs> like, seriously, it's a really good show. Dude, wait, that, was that kid smoking a bowl? Cush, yo. Kush, yo, I wanna, I wanna take some kush and put it in my pussy. Man, you fucking kush ass, beaster bunny, beaster bunny ass, <laughs> beaster <laughs> bunny. <laughs> you think the beaster bunny rides on a horse? <laughs>
This clown with glasses is passing off his trash as classic But as a future funk producer you could use some music classes A sacred genre I'm placing inside a crystal casing Shattered by some edgy teens on Twitter trying to make it mainstream Cause I'm on cloud nine, rimmed with silver linings Of uploads of looping anime clips in perfect timing And mixing of disco from the 80s I'm future funk in your lady Bass so thick and creamy it's gonna produce your lady's baby We out here leaving clouds made out of weed The future funk sweeties who wanna be Japanese Anime DHS, R2 music is feeling A If a sailor moon movie, the neon 80s live on Twitch We out here bathing clouds made out of weed The future comes from weeds who wanna be Japanese Anime DHS, R2 music is feeling A If a sailor moon movie, the neon 80s live on Twitch